Good morning, class. Welcome to Girl Stream Team. Class is in session. Welcome to learning. So <laughs> today, teacher's a bit hungover, so we're just going to watch some Bill Nye. On the, <laughs> I've wheeled the TV and the VCR into the classroom. Now, you were saying <laughs> something about Mewtwo earlier and how Bill Nye was Mewtwo. Bill Nye was not Mewtwo. Bill Nye was Mewtwo. <laughs> oh, and... <laughs> Davy Jones was and Bill Nye? No. <laughs> Davy Jones plays Bill Nye in real life, who went on to be Mewtwo. It's it's like not <laughs> It's like a whole thing. <laughs> David Bowie was Bill Nye. Bill huh. Nye he was uh, David Dowie. David Dowie, okay. <laughs> Um, English teacher in junior high apparently literally had a bottle of wine under their desk and was obsessed with coffee. Excellent. I would have put some like Irish cream under my desk to combine the two, but you know, yeah, let's fair. okay. I've I've ejected the Pirates of the Caribbean VHS out of the VCR, so now we can put in Bill Nye videos. Yeah, we've we've put the Windows three point one VHS in. And <laughs> oh, we're both meowing. Uh, is tonight a whiskey night or a gin night for you, Alice? Ooh, do you have anything, any mixers for your gin? Gin's got the same number of letters as my, so I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, hello everyone. It's nice to see you all here. Hi. I, I want to also say how um, weird it is to to stop myself from automatically going hello everyone welcome to the stream because like it's just ingrained after like god we've got to be this has got to be like episode 100 of girl stream team or something right we'll have to see how close he came but probably yeah i mean certainly if we count the girl stream team versus transphobia streams yes sure. Mella, you can have a cookie Wait, no, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Can you? Can you? We'll, we'll have the the snack cart lady come in and you could get some you gin know, and some tonic. Fruit by the foot or some gin and tonic or like a fun little pencil eraser. Now, uh -oh. I Ooh, hope everybody's loud. excited for our uh, uh, our first, our, our, our principal voyage. Our first voyage into the wonderful world of FMV games. Something's not right. Uh, Something isn't right. Oh no, the rock isn't being stopped adequately. Can't stop the rock. Can't stop the rock. But you've got to stop the fucking rock. Because if you don't, then everyone's gonna die. Oh yeah, I gotta stream this to you as well. Hang on. Sure do. Ah, oh, beans. I knew I was forgetting something. So this is a game that I did have as a kid. One of the many edutainment games I think I got out of the Scholastic Book Fair. Uh, it was pretty good, I think, from what I remember, from when I was like eight. <laughs> <laughs> like this was, uh, I think this was like a ninety six, ninety seven game. So like, okay, so I guess nine. I'm. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, I was nine. Oh, uh, yeah. Just kidding, I'm not old! I'm not old! <laughs> I'm not a boomer! I'm not a boomer! <laughs> oh, who did the software engineering? Image builder. Image builder. Yay! Oh. Yay! No. Uh huh. My labs! Sure! Wow! Look at the graphics. I'm just bopping. Did you know that inertia is a property of matter? I didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh I, well, it well. is, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, Apple, big planet. Ah, oh, my favorite planet. Hey, say hi to Bill for me, okay? I love the show. 
Okay, how's the old... Oh, Nelly. Ah, it's just like mist. <laughs> e pluribus science. That's the kind of shit we would come up with. <laughs> oh, joke. Uh -huh. That would have been a great <laughs> tag for our stream tonight. Oh my god. Okay, uh, y'all hearing this just nicely? Or does it need a bit... Oh, sippy time, sippy time. Great for me. Oh, I once again forgot my gamer fluid. Today it's my science fluid. Because we're going to learn everything about science that we didn't already mm -hmm. learn on Wednesday. Okay, so, so far there's no weird bullshit to click on. Hey, Rough Jericho, nice to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I convinced Jax to play this tonight mostly just to see if anybody but me has ever even heard of this before. Can I take your order, please? Oh, hey, welcome to Nylabs. My name's Moody, and I am so happy that you're here. Sign in, please. Just type your name and using that keypad. Okay. So is this the continuing <laughs> the continuing adventures of uh, Beefico Wendelthorpe? <laughs> Beefy dubs, as she's <laughs> sometimes known. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Beefy dub. Hang on. No, like no, no. Beefy dub. Fartlore 3.1 beefy dubs. There we go. <laughs> oh, now, is your little shit. So what molecule does C2H5OH make? That's, uh, well, that's a hydrocarbon of some sort, on account of the fact that there's hydrogen the carbon. Hydro in the carbon. Probably not great. It, it's, no, it's not sugar, because it's got sixes and eights in it. Wait, is that caffeine? Oh, ethanol. <laughs> So, yeah. are you looking to join Nye Labs, or do you just want to hang out? I figure we should join hey, Nye Labs. Been waiting for you. We should probably join Nye Labs. Hey, come on in. Hmm, I wonder what happened if I mix this with some of that. Ah, oh, science ongoing. That science. <laughs> I love pouring science juice into other science oh, juice. Oh, not exactly the effect I was looking for. You did say, ah, no, that's science. I'm Keith Brinkow with a special report. The world is breathing a collective sigh of relief today. With oh, thank that God. The meteoroid defense system is finally in place. The meteoroid and asteroid exploded, also known as Max, Neat. has been activated and is ready <laughs> to deflect meteoroid impending doom. Without the Max system in place, this meteoroid would crash into the northwestern United States in just five days. Let's check in now with reporter Corinne Kawabi for a report on public reaction. Well, Chet, Max is good news to millions of people, and as you can see, they're dancing in the streets. <laughs> wow. and Look at them in front of that V day footage. <laughs> oh, right, science rules. Hey, glad you're here. I've heard a lot about you. You know, it's great we have a new science research <laughs> from Miss <laughs> Frizzle. <laughs> Hey, Bill's just called an emergency meeting. He wants you in the conference room. A-S-A-S-P. That's as soon as scientifically possible. Amogus? I'm gonna get cleaned up. Oh, God. No. Oh, no. They're everywhere. Oh, no, Gus. Oh, God. I, w I should have taken a picture hey, that reminded me Don't at work. Away. Somebody wrote in a note uh, okay, <laughs> on, a, on a thing at work saying, please order okay, as we'll ASP as possible. <laughs> uh, bonjour, Nylabs. I am uh, Dr. Veronique Dumé. I am one of the scientists who discovered the meteoroid. I, I speak to you with the utmost urgency. Something has gone uh, terribly wrong. As you know, Max is a system. It's a network of the world's most powerful computers. Somehow, <laughs> Max has gone mad and developed a personality of its own. And Sauce now, meteor. Mad Max will no longer respond to us. It, uh, oh, Tatino it rating of at least eight. Oh. Labs directly. Mm -hmm. We are putting the entire matter into your hand. Uh, oh. Wow. Into your hat. Whoa. He's got merch. We better log on to Max. Yeah. See what's up. Greetings, allegedly intelligent humans. 
I'm maxed out on data about humans, but where meteoroid collisions with Earth are concerned, I'm practically clueless. What a rare scientific opportunity, letting impending Dume crash into the planet. You humans are going to have to prove that preserving you is more interesting, and it won't be easy. I propose God, that's an what they called the meteor. Answer seven riddles. <laughs> that's really? All I ask. They were just saying impending doom for yours? No, well, because her last name was Dume, so they named it Impending Dume. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Impending Dume is but five days away. What say we play? He, he's a very patient and observant listener. Well, uh, we've got our work cut out for us. Okay, we're going to handle this the way an astronaut would. We're going to remain calm, and we're going to get the job done. It's going to take everyone on the team. Are you ready? Sam Andreas, you know rocks. How about you focus on everything that's rock related? <laughs> it's okay, Sam. No, you know it's not your fault. Rock. Tsunami, you're deep into the science of the ocean. We'll count on you to tell us what's up down there. <laughs> Bill, you know you can count on me to wash this max thing up. I'm not tsunami for nothing. Hmm. Let's touch base with the rest of the team. Captain Connie Vection reporting for science service. Connie. We have a situation with Max. <laughs> Since you're our top gun in the sky, we'll count on you for data about the atmosphere. You can fly up and shoot it down to us. Till we know more, please stand by. Roger that. Oh, you want you want ad facts there on Natural Twenty? You've got Come in, one swell. more. Swell white cap. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm hearing voices. <laughs> what? He's a pirate scientist. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, Max is in serious condition. So until we know more up here, hold your position. He's down wearing there. a sailor suit. <laughs> Understood, Bill. I'll hold my position. Keep my eye out. <laughs> He's just having fun. <laughs> He's just well, entertaining himself. Ready, but I'm going to have to count on you the most. <laughs> he was just I'm going to be engaged in some pirate LARP. Get him or her or huh? it back on track. But it's up to you to get us going on those riddles. I can't believe we forgot to ask it. <laughs> it's pronouns. <laughs> God damn it. When you can't stand the heat, where you can't take the pressure, prove there's a spot where life grows in great measure. Uh, is that would be a volcanic vent, right? Kind of sounds like it. Send me the heart of a hot-headed giant that chills out fast. It eats oceans and lakes, then strikes with a blast. A human butthole? What? Are you, what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is the robot so sensual? Robots Send just having a great a time. Giant that chills out fast. Fast. It eats oceans it's and lakes and strikes with a blast. Like the eye of a hurricane? Bring me something that lives on Earth, then blows Sounds up in the right. sky, where it never eats and doesn't die. Hmm. Interesting. Find a river that flows over mountains that are tallest. Here you will find the largest living off the smallest. Jax? Meow? Wait. <laughs> oh, meow. <laughs> oh no, I was trying to answer the riddle. <laughs> that ate fish by the sea and flew like a hawk. It wasn't a bird and now it's a rock. Time <gasps> bow slores. Find a sleeping dog with a churning stomach. When it shakes, it's awake. When it barks, you bake. That's a volcano. A lot of I these think. are very volcano adjacent, I feel like. Unlike you, with food we do not deal. But we are able to make a light meal. So plants. Okay. Interesting. Are these... Plant are, volcano. Are these... Oh, I noticed that we were on a real-time clock here, actually. Or, well, not a real-time, <laughs> Yeah, we got time, a few but... days until... Now, yeah, we're on a few simple rules. You must submit your answers directly to me. Each riddle has something to do with planet Earth, and each answer can be found down here I don't somewhere. know why the weather is relevant. But remember, hmm. you must find each answer and point it out to me. Good luck. 
You need it. I assume if we game over, uh, it's game over, man. Game over. Pretty much. Well, now, let's take also, no ocarinas. You get going on those riddles. Oh, you'll need one of these. A Nikon. There's a, a pit boy. In the prop room. <laughs> Just go out the door, take a left, get in the elevator, go down two floors. The prop room is right there. Oh. And so's the box. Theme song's playing. Means uh -huh. for maximum power. Oh, well, goodbye. All right. See you later. Can I just take? No. Back where you Jets belong. Set scandal. Sets rumors flying. Our air and ocean intimately involved. Dang. Neat. Uh. Oh, right. Repulsive relatives won't chop charges. That's exciting. Oh, because sauce meteor. <laughs> God. <laughs> what what did you name your profile and why didn't you choose butt stuff? Uh we're Beefy we're Dubs. Beefy Dubs. <laughs> Short for Beef Wellington. No, Beefica Wendelthorpe. Oh, look at this little ant pal. Uh-huh. Once again, I'm disappointed by the dearth of bullshit to click on. Oh look we'll, at Bill we'll find more pals. bullshit as we go, yeah. All of his pun named pals. Oh, kitchen. La cocina. Should we just get a snack before we, uh... Yeah, I'm hungry. Things to do. Walk Pavlov, get bagels, exercise sense of wonder, dust planets, save world. I guess Pavlov's... Is... Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Son uh -huh. of a bitch! <laughs> Finish the thought, Jax. Pavlov's his dog. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> My stupid fucking goddamn <laughs> idiot brain. Oh, I throw away some dish soap. I love the uh, hamburger mobile. <laughs> ah, everybody aboard the hamburger mobile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got more Nike cups up there. That's good. Bill Nye the science guy. Yeah, Bill Nye wasn't really a thing in the UK. Uh, we had Bill Nye, but not Bill Nye. <laughs> I think we've exhausted yeah, our as, allotment of Bill Nye. As <laughs> usual, we took a, a British word and just kind of chopped one of the syllables out. <laughs> Gnome Chomsky is very, very good. Uh -huh. uh, this one, probably. I did specifically say the basement. Did he? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. No, it's cool. Yeah, it's not like the world's at stake or anything. <laughs> look! Look, you remembered. We've got half a brain cell. So you don't have to. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, oh, I want... Uh, but... Oh. 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 Can I... But I want to interact with the stuff. His Australopithecus. Hang on, maybe I need one of the. You need bunny... the pit boy. I need the pit boy before I can interact. With... Oh. Uh huh. Hey Bill. Hey Bill, why is this here? <laughs> it's fine. It belonged to somebody. Abby, someone. <laughs> Oh, Abby Normal. Da -da 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 milk. <laughs> da -da 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 milk. There's <laughs> why is there milk? Why isn't there milk? It's oh the my god! Thing. It's the it's the fucking microwave. The microwave, of course it is. Oh hey, Nikoms. Oh man. Oh look at these hey, things. You this found is the Nickelodeon Nikon. ass pit I boy. I programmed a couple of new features into it to help us out. The newest one is the Max button. Use this only when you're ready to submit an answer to Max. Then there's the Clue button. Use this to call other team members to see if you're onto something. We'll help you with the science. After all, we're scientists. If you need to review the riddles, just press the Riddle button. In fact, why don't you choose the riddle right now to start with? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Well, you know, it's... It... I'm kind of glad this happened because we had these three buttons on these things that we didn't know what to do with, but now we've got 
reasons for him. High pressure riddle seems like this calls for high pressure experiments. But can you do it at Nia Labs pressure chamber? Click here when done. Is that the subject line or an instruction? Um, yes, it's an instruction. Yes, sir. Huh. Huh. Cool. Cool. Bro. Ah. Oh. oh. Is this just gonna be there now? Guess uh, so. I think if you you can turn it off and then it slides up. Oh no, do I have to just drag this on? Oh wait, it's like, and drop it anywhere it flashes. Okay, I can live with that. Can we speed run the riddles? I mean, maybe. I probably have enough generic science knowledge to. Ooh. Searing hot molten rock cools off very quickly. It releases vapors which can get tra trapped into the rock as it cools. The result is pumice, the Swiss cheese of the rock world. Sometimes pumice has so many holes in it, it floats. It's okay. great for your feet. Oh, that's a rock. I thought there was a bit of paper. Huh. That's chalk. That's a chalk rock. That's for crystal healing. Uh huh. That's your J.O. crystal. That's fluffy snow that you press together yeah. into ch shale. No, it's shale. Um, the fluffy snow of the rock world. That's just a box of diamonds. <laughs> Bill, why don't you tell Just me about this hammer? Over. That's a hammer stone. <laughs> Isn't that what you do for, like, flint napping? It is. Oh. You get a stone that's harder than the flint, and you hammer Oh, it's Lucy. It's Lucy, everybody. Ah. Oh. Lucy in a box of diamonds. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope my skeleton becomes very important someday. <laughs> for crystal harming. I like crystal uh, harming. Ah. Uh, welcome to Final Fantasy. Okay, so... Can we do any funny experiments in the kitchen? I am dying to know. I... Honestly don't remember. What with the being nine and all. Mm -hmm. But we'll find out. Isn't this just like Mist? Aren't you having a great time? I'm having a wonderful mysteries. time with the mysteries of Mist. Oh. Oh well. dear. Okay, squirting slash navigation. What time is it? Clock. Did you say squirting? Oh, sailing. <laughs> Rule thirty-four inventions. Oh dear. How to live in tall buildings? Elevator. Oh. <laughs> uh uh. uh. Rhine crew, location shoot on Friday unless planet destroyed. <laughs> the Earth's biosphere is good at NITSOTS. Mitsots. What's that mean? Lots of things spinning. Bill's head. Ah, oh, well. Oh, I guess this is a Bill Nye episode, isn't it? Uh, oh, nice. maybe. Oh, yeah, when are scripts due for this? Next Tuesday, first draft. Okay, so in in this, Nye Labs is um, A, an actual ass collection of scientists, and B, a TV production place. Scientists and science communicators. Ah, oh, you'd love to see it. Cook the probe. Can you cook the probe? God, I hope so. No. Oh. Okay. Oh. On a Wait, mobile, a light... can balance a big heavy pickle by being on a longer stick. The stick is a lever. The longer a lever, the more work you can do with it. So the onion's weight is just as much pull as the heavier pickle. Hey, that's all well and good, but those are burgers. Those are burg hamburgers. Which is a thing that I wish I had right now. Oh, I'd love some hand handled burgers. Hand burgers? <laughs> yeah. Just just <laughs> Hey honey, put your put your hand between these two slices of bread, <laughs> would you? It's what I hand burger is what I call it when I eat five hot dogs. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> 
steamed hands is what you call it when you accidentally stalled yourself. Oh no. Okay, that's the magnetic spectrum. This is Oh. Hey the bud. That streamer was the gender spectrum. Oh. Plants aren't like you or me. I mean, just look at yourself. Do you look like a plant? I guess not. But the biggest difference between well, plants I'm, but often and us compared to a potato. <laughs> oh. Plants make their own food inside themselves. You're, they don't need to you're shop very starchy. Or or I love that the oh. No, Thank they you. just take light from the sun. I've got so water, many eyeballs. And carbon dioxide mm -hmm. from the air, which we not exhale afraid. when we breathe. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Some of them presto, are on the inside. They make sugar. <laughs> Their own food. That's horrible. Pretty good trick, huh? Making your own sugary food. It's kind of like a treat. Scary. It's kind of like, <laughs> like trick or treat, huh? <laughs> See, because it's sugar. <clears throat> anyway, I think. The best I think he's snapped. They make we can eat. <laughs> mm. oh, that's sweet. You want one? What the fuck is it, Bill? Okay. It maybe a grape. <laughs> Rufus, are you a grape? <laughs> Welcome, Lolo Frosty. It's Bill, 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 Nye the Science Guy. It's Bill, Bill, the Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill, Bill, the Bill, Bill, Bill. He was just kind of standing there lecturing at us for we like, Bill, the world's <laughs> hey, gonna end. You ever heard of plants, by the way? Man, these grapes are fucking good. Anyway, <laughs> I've got some more cocaine to find. <laughs> Maybe stop the meteor it's or just, something. It's just like, I've crossbred these grapes <laughs> so they have CBD and THC in them. It's amazing. Oh. I love it. Dang. I'm guessing it's not great for the earth, Alice. There's a buzz in the air. Can you feel it? It's the Van de Graaff generator. This thing will shock you. It's just like a lightning storm. Inside, <laughs> tiny particles called electrons oh. build up on Obi, one globe, which has a negative charge. Then they zap across to the other globe. It starts which talking has a shit charge. about you. It's the That's same rude. thing that causes lightning. Negative electrons build up in one part Bill of the world. So many you. of them, they can't stay together. They jump to wherever there are fewer electrons, like the ground. <laughs> That's when we see. Whoa, I get a charge out of this stuff. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> Where are my uh, grapes at? Bill, 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 What's shaking? Paula, thanks for the bits. really find out, the Tectonics Lab is the place. I'm sort of sad that TTS didn't have any sense of meter, but here we are. The what? The what? The force somewhere there. Seismic stations from around the world, where you can get data to pinpoint a quake. The tectonics lab shakes. Neat. Great. Okay, let's have a look at this funny machine. If we can ever navigate over to it. Okay. This... <laughs> oh. Oh, oh I love a milkshake. Mm, banana smoothie. <laughs> mm, banana smoothie. Mm, but, mm, but, <laughs> now, a button that makes you say banana smoothie. <laughs> banana smooth. Mm, banana smooth. Mm, banana smooth. Banana smooth. Banana smooth. Banana smooth. I'm just trying to get him to say, mmm, banana. Del, 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 del. Bill Nye the Science Guy. That was closer. Thank you for the bits on Natural 20. <laughs> banana smoothie. Banana smoothie. Banana foo 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 foo. Buenos dias. We are Hello. sorry. We have not registered any earthquakes of any significance in the past few hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Peru's currently not suffering from an earthquake. <laughs> I know this has got to be heartbreaking for you. Oh, hi. How's it going, babe? No, no major earthquake recorded here in the past. Oh, hey, babe. Hours. Can you believe it? Oh, my sushi is here. Gotta go. <laughs> okay. That, oh, man, that sure is Bye. Los Angeles. It's <laughs> a bunch of sushi. Of science. Here in Auckland, we haven't Mate seen of science. Is, is me Australian man. Except they're in Auckland. They get very <laughs> mad if you mix the two up. 
Oh no. <laughs> well, he was clearly definitely from one or the other place okay. for sure. Please, 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 please don't be racist. Please don't be racist. Please don't be racist. Okay. There have been no earthquakes recorded here in the past two hours. Okay. That's fine. Cool. Yeah. Now, is there anything to read into the fact that she was hiding the S in Sony and it just said Oni? And she was standing in front of the pony sign. She was. She's impending doom the whole time. Okay, hang on. My my thing's going off. I think. <laughs> I could have sworn I was getting a page. Oh. Called for help. I love helping. I guess it's just because well. I love helping. Give, 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 give. That's all I do. And I'm ready to give you help with the night. <laughs> oh, Sigin. <laughs> What? Huh. When an earthquake oh. happens, it sends oh. vibrations out through the earth. The earthquake vibrations move in waves. The Nismograph can sense these vibrations. The, the Nismograph. God, you piece of shit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, look, it drew a pembus. <laughs> wow. Happens, you can use the sliding bars but, to measure how far away emulator. What what pembuses cool, have you seen? Cool button and I'll well, you it was a little blocky once it got to the cool. articles. But... Earthquakes, shake. They prove that the Earth's surface is always uh -huh. changing. When an earthquake happens, it releases a huge amount of energy. No, 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 a, a tremendously huge amount of energy. I I enjoy Bill's commitment to science education when the waves. fate of the entire First, fucking world is on the line. <laughs> If you're really interested in how earthquakes do, you can just not do anything for the next couple of days, and we'll see some really great ones, I bet. Then there are secondary or shear waves called S waves. Okay, so P waves, which happen when you go to the bathroom. Uh-huh. Oh. Since they both come from the same spot, we can tell how far away the know, was by measuring the gap between the waves. Oh my god, that was a big one. It doesn't tell What's you where the matter? Happened, just how far away. It's like counting the seconds Swades. between a lightning strike and the Swades. sound of its thunder. Nismograph can barely measure this one. It's He's got kind of a robotic way. thing going on, doesn't he? A little bit. He's just naming everything after himself. <laughs> Sing us the song of your people, Boof. Sing us the song, you're the boofest man. Scream us a song tonight. We're all in the mood for an earthquake now. I would love to get close to this bullshit. Oh, hey, oh Jesus, God! <laughs> Hi, I was hiding behind this table the whole time. <laughs> Why are you talking to me on the fucking Nikon? When you're right there. What kind of fucking Loki ass motherfucker is. Bill Nye. <laughs> he's he's definitely kind of a trickster god. Uh, your data doesn't seem to match any known Earth conditions. So, why don't you do a little bit of double checking? Okay, what? That was fucking rude. <laughs> Incredibly hostile. <laughs> Your data doesn't seem. <laughs> Shut up! I know how to work this thing. Go. Oh dear. Neat. That sure is that. Mm hmm. You love to see it. Just the get out of this screenomatic. There it is. <laughs> Now, can I look at the funny Nismograph? Oh my god. Hey there, hi there, ho there, neighbor! Wonder why I'm so cheery and full of glee? Well, we're all about to become part of the most intense science experiment ever. That's right. When Metroid impending Dume hits Earth, we're all gonna be swallowed up in a tidal wave or hurricane or earthquake or who knows what else. Anyway, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheerful. Love it. <laughs> Leo neighbor, you know, we're fucked. Now, there was some kind of pressure lab that I needed to go to for a thing. It's true. It's just a bone. 
It was just a bone on the floor. Wait, hang on, back up. Yeah, was there? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> There's incredibly just a bone. That's just a suction dart. Can I... Can I probe the dart? Probably not on account of I can't nope. get the probe on it. <laughs> oh boy! Nothing in the nothing in the top left quadrant is ever going to be important. Can't wait to freeze and starve due to an impact winter, right? Yay! Wow! So, oh, I didn't notice the crying dinosaur before. <laughs> the crinosaur. The crinosaur. The crimosaur. Ah, oh, the crimosaurus rex. Oh my God! Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Who skinned a Sherlock Holmes to upholster that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey, that is that is the chair from Mist with the weird planetarium thing. Oh dear. Boop. Oh dear. <laughs> um. Uh huh. Well, consider that sufficiently pondered. Uh, Are we just gonna keep pondering this orb? <laughs> yeah, Sherlock Holmes just has a tweed pelt. That's that's all it is. <laughs> that houndstooth fabric chair is all that's left of <laughs> fellow '90s scientist Beekman. Oh man, <laughs> no. And Bill Nye imprisoned his world in that globe. I see. <laughs> oh my god. What's Malex? Oh, I guess that's like FedEx, huh? Oh, or Malox. <laughs> Maybe someone at Nylabs has upset Tommy. Oh, okay. When you said Malox, I was thinking like a chastity device, like a male lock. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Look, I'm sorry. I mean, that isometric view of Nylabs kind of looks like it could imprison a dick. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jack Scora, but yes. Uh, fossil lab. I think we had a clue that was about a fossil lab. Uh, we did. Fossil. <gasps> Scare. Scare. Oh, we want some inaccurate dinosaur facts. Because they're like... 20 some years old, 25 years old. Discover a beast that ate fish by the sea. Yeah. About that riddle, it says that now it's a rock. Well, no one rocks more than rockin' rock me and Sam Andreas. I'll send him down. <laughs> hey, strawberry slime. Oh, yeah, we, we should have gotten the. Uh, special edition of this game, they had the crossover with Mega Man that did just replace him with Mega Man. That would have been cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that yeah. big angry Kermit. I might you. <laughs> Is there... Hmm. I would love to do something in this. <laughs> Nye Man. Oh, Nye Man's power. Oh, look, it was a Parasaurolophus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Uh, hey, bud. What? Oh, you must be Pavlov. Found your bone. Wiggle dog found bone. <laughs> it's time for real dog. It's a pogus pogusarolophus. Pogusarolophus. Oh, I, like I mean, that. look at look look at all these pogging dinosaurs. This one's <laughs> yeah. got a pretty good pog oh. on. This one's very happy. Pogosaurus hex. Where Bill hunts you down with a crossbow while talking about kinetic energy the whole time. Oh dear. Oh hey. Ah. Oh. Well, this is our riddle. There's Lady Terrasaur. Oh yeah. Where's the answer? That's the answer for this one, probably. Hmm. There's a good chance that will indeed be of some help. Yes, but. There's more to this riddle than what you've discovered. What else do you want? Oh, do we need to find a... A bones? A bones of it? Probable fish eater. 
the pteranodon's wings <laughs> stretched out more than 10 meters from tip to tip, longer than a small airplane. It probably used its wings to glide out far over the water and hunts for seafood. The pteranodon was pterarifying. It probably used its wings to fly. Or something. Oh. oh we have to ascend bones. <gasps> oh, it's a jigsaw puzzle. I love <gasps> drunk sir puzzles. Oh. Mm. Uh -huh. It's where it wants to be. Oh. There are several places where it wants to be. Hmm. None of them terribly help. Oh, it's getting upset. <laughs> Put my oh, bones dude. together, please. <laughs> Solve my body puzzle. A Jigasaurus Rex. A <laughs> Jigasaurus oh. Rex. It's very good. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, it's scared. You scared him. <laughs> it's the lesser known Sprundlesaur. Okay, well, I I feel like we should use the big tail as the base of where we're gonna put this critter. Yeah. If you love jigsaw puzzles, how come you only did one level of the Pangea puzzle? <laughs> ah, piss. Ah, beans. Good I've point. Fucking called out. I think yeah. I think you gotta leave it where it be. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I see. This looks like hips. It does appear to be hips and a wingus bone. Why well, this is not so the dinosaur up, that we wanted, knows. but... It sure isn't. I've solved the... Oh! Looks good. Looks like it walks the earth. Now drag the scanner in to identify it. Otherwise, things are going to be a real drag. I get it. Like the, the the probe? Or is the scanner a separate Oh I see. Oh. That's a trilobite. Hmm. Good thing we don't need to start a fire, because that's no match. Fuck you! I don't know how to work this damn thing. Excuse me. What the hell? Oh, I see. Cool, cool flip book of. Okay, so this is oh. what. Welcome to the home of Sapiens. Terrific job on the T Rex. In fact, it's such Fuck a you. bountiful display that we're gonna Fuck put you. it out where what everyone does that mean? can see it. You know, bountiful. Okay. Was it supposed to be beautiful or bountiful? Not only a great fossil builder, I don't know. Oh god. You are a wonderful audience. Oh god. Thank you. This guy's clothes <laughs> is I don't know, like Pat Sajak or something. Oh. Pat Nijak. Down to the tectonic space, see if you can locate where that quake happened. I'll go find Bill. Oh, don't worry about those bones. I'm sure that Pavlov, the dog of science, will be able to take care of them. What? <laughs> this didn't help us at all. It sure didn't. Well, we got a... We got a story beat, I guess? I guess? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. news of meteoroid impending Dumay wasn't enough, we obviously have just had an earthquake. Let's check in with reporter Corinne Kawabi. Corinne? Chet, initial reports indicate a magnitude of 5.5 with an epicenter in a remote part of the North Cascade Mountains. I'll have more information oh dear. as it comes in. Back to you, Chet. That's not good. I live Chet? there. Oh no. Are you there? Chet? I, uh, I was Chet? Chet, are you there? <laughs> Chet, no. I thought I left some gum. Chet, you betcha. 
Hi again. You have a job to do, Pavlov. Fucking get to it. Fix the bone, Bonosaurus. You just kind of there, buddy, huh? Okay. This is vibing. <laughs> Has he just been sealed in there this whole be, time? Yeah, I was gonna say, be sure to close that fucking hatch behind you. Oh god, what is it now, hey, Bill? What's shaking? If you want to really find out, the tech. We're in the same device. room. I can tell Three from behind you. And push the Earth's crust around with. That was like right up against our ear. Then there's the fault finder. Yep. This puppy will get you in touch with seismic stations from around the world. Bill. Where you can get data Bill. and point a quick. The tectonics lab. Shakes! I know, you keep telling us that! Jesus, <laughs> God! It's not shaking, we're in there. You're just wiggling the camera around, <laughs> you asshole. We need to confirm that remote data with our own measurements. Measure the quake on the diesmograph. Can we get one more milkshake? We just felt an earthquake. What else is new? Our seismographs indicate it was about 2,298 kilometers away. Whoops, that's my cell phone. Gotta that's go, That's a babe. long way Ciao. away. <laughs> that's like a Peru away? Yeah, but apparently it was on the Cascade Mountains, but... Buenos dias. Yeah, look at Our that. Our seismographs are telling us there was recently an earthquake 10,301 kilometers oh. from here. Okay, I'm a bad judge of distance then. Let's check in with everyone else. G'day, mate. Auckland here, with a report of an earthquake. The sensors show it was approximately 11,449 kilometers away. Neat. Konnichiwa. We have registered an earthquake approximately 7,001 kilometers away. Yes, I know. I'm done. <laughs> okay, one more banana smoothie. Mm, banana, mm, banana smoothie. <laughs> the quake seemed to be emanating from a giant ass. An ass. But ass has been dead for five years. <laughs> Paramedic, what can you tell me about this ass? Oh no. Oh no, we have to remember what he said about swaves and plaves. Oh jeez. Yeah, like... Um... I think that's about right. Yeah, that seems about right. Wasn't it? Wasn't the swaves the big one and the plaves the small one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to learn! We should be able to locate that quake, get over the fault finder, and contact some other seismic stations. I already did! We already did that, Samuel! Listen, babe, we just felt an earthquake. What else is new? <laughs> Our seismographs indicate it was about 2,298 kilometers away. Whoops, that's my cell phone. Oops, that's my sushi. Data we got doesn't match. So you need re measuring the quake with a nizomograph. <laughs> Once press, you're there, uh, press... And cool if you need help. <laughs> fucking love these contact sensitive buttons for assholes. <laughs> How do we feel about this genre of game? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. When an earthquake happens, it sends vibrations okay, out to tell us about the earth. The this, apparently. Move in waves. What? The Nismograph <laughs> can sense these vibrations, and that jiggles a pen which records the wave so on the paper. There's the tip, and That's there's the the some more blocky balls, and it's got like a little jippy. Happens, you can use the sliding <laughs> hmm. bars to measure how far away it was. If you think that's cool, press the cool button and I'll tell you how. Cool. Earthquakes shake. They prove that the Earth's mm. surface is always changing. When an earthquake happens, it releases a huge amount of energy. No, no, I mean, no a tremendously huge amount of energy. Now, I enjoy energy mists. I enjoyed Riven. I never really got far because I really only played those as a kid. But First, yeah, I like I like 
pressure waves called P waves. I like the, the kind of sit down with a cup of coffee and mull over these puzzles games. Mm -hmm. See, it even says this is the P. I used to be at the start of the Good job. Oh, yeah, yep. that quick happened about 250 kilometers away from the lab, <laughs> somewhere on All that All right. Screen. Now, to figure out which direction those Oh, hello, from, perished uh, Pope of Turkey. Hello, hello. Labs around the world. We'll be talking later. Yeah, Welcome now, uh, to the science and coolness. Did, did he want us to talk to the other labs again? Uh, uh, oh. ah. 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 All right, congratulations. That's, <laughs> that's fucking nothing. That's you figured out where the epicenter was, right? Not where the three anything. circles cross. Congratulations. I'm doing my best. <laughs> it's not happening, bud. I'm doing my best. You don't think that was a very nice pun, huh? I'm going to head out to that area. We can't. We literally did all the rock puns in that, the last stream. That is stream. true. Well, tell that to fucking Sam Andreas. Okay. <laughs> I, I know, I'm sorry, your method that can help right us there. with us riddles. Why don't you see if you can figure out what are the other riddles? Ooh. Okay. I guess we could maybe solve... Do we have, like, an earthquake riddle? I don't think we have an earthquake riddle. I feel like that was an entire fucking waste of time. Nope. You think girls are cool? Press the cool button, I'll tell you. Bill Nye, my god! <laughs> <laughs> Phil's just like, what's a light meal? I eat garbage for for, <laughs> for power. Just a minute. Okay, I'm on my way. Five, four, three, uh, two, one, two. Taco Tuesday. Okay, well, we're, we're, we're just gonna let that be, I think. What's in the like micro the lab? gender inclusive the bathroom, shame it <laughs> Shame exploded. it got fucking destroyed. <laughs> shame it's a crater. Oh. Oh, safety googles. Case of emergency, Google safety. <laughs> that sounds like the workplace safety policy of some places I've been in. <laughs> okay, I feel like we want to go down a floor. Maybe. Okay. What floor are we even on? Ba -ba 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 Wait, no, we don't, because the basement floor... Wait, hang on a sec. It's just full of bullshit. It's called a road, it's called a rainbow road. It is a road <laughs> is a where you go. you go. <laughs> the kid held it in right until the fucking apocalypse, because they're like, I'm gonna do something so shameful to this bathroom <laughs> no one can be alive to know my secret oh <gasps> beware I yeah. your mouth face i would okay. love to so go the to dog's the name is pavlov and he has a poster that says pavlov so the cat <laughs> oh look it's the sky runner uh <laughs> <laughs> the phase distorter. So the cat's name must be Boerov. <laughs> right? 
Have y'all done any kill six billion demons yet? I have not. Yeah, Jax. I yeah, have, Jax. Have I, you? I have not. I meant to start oh doing God. it after uh, Christmas vacation. I'm going to get to it. I promise. I promise. Spinky swear. Y'all y'all paid like 500,000 uh, beans for American it. American dollars. Oh, right. <laughs> God, I wish. God, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, watch out for the live tweet of that on the Girl Stream Team account. I'm going to... Uh, oh, we should speedrun this game? Free world record. <laughs> Why? How long's the world record? Is is there a world record at all? Oh, I I, I think the suggestion is that there isn't until we beat it, and then this oh. will be our speed run. Oh, sweet. Yuk, I hate Baron's Toast. Do something, won't you? I no hate entry. the Baron's Toast. Oh. Huh? I guess we need to... Huh. huh? It's the pressure chamber of science! <laughs> you can use it to see what pressure does to different things. It's wild. No. Go ahead and drag Why something this into animated? the pressure chamber, close the door, then hit the buttons to increase or decrease the pressure inside. Have a blast! <laughs> oh, I don't mean to put any pressure on you here, but pressure's pretty powerful stuff, so be careful. Uh -huh. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Cool. Oh. Pressure is cool. But let's face it, we're all under pressure every day. Air pressure. Bum, 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 ba, da, dum, you can't see it, but air has pressure. And air pressure pushes in all directions all the time. There's five million. I don't want to pressurize the cat. <laughs> you don't have to pressurize the cat. About 900 kilograms of air are pressing down on I'm going to pressurize the balloon. How do right you think that's going to feel about it? You try to put the cat there and then the Bill's just going to raise up from the bottom of the screen. He's like, fucking, hey. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's my cat. I mean, I'm hoping that the game just immediately goes, why are you clicking on the cat? That's not... I don't remember what happens, but I'm a billion percent sure he's just going to jump down. Oh, thank God. No, no, we're not going to let you. <laughs> Cat should stay at around 100 kilopascal. <sighs> ah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see uh -huh. what happens when you put this music under pressure. It's fucking... <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't Joe cartoon the cat. <laughs> Me too. Well, you know, red usually means stop, like a red light. Well, red meant the pressure in the chamber got really, really high, high enough to blow the machine up, which you did. But it's a good thing you're wearing your safety glasses. I mean, it's not like we're under any pressure here. I mean, the pressure here is virtual. I mean, it's a good thing there's nothing serious going on. Just a meteoroid hurtling toward our planet, <laughs> about to destroy our world as we know it. I mean, other than that, you know, there's, there's no pressure. <laughs> I'm fucking sinking down in my chair. I'm disappointed, Bill Nye, so much. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> to be fair, Bill, you told us to just fuck around with the Skyrunner for a bit. Yeah, and we fuck... did, and you're like, oh, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> We're deep in the fucking around period of science. <laughs> it's me, science -o, And I'm mad at you. <laughs> science <-o. laughs> Controls for what? <laughs> the next thing you're gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> the weather radar. I'm scared now. Let's turn this shit on and see what happens. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Now remember, you've got to set all four dials to get this thing to work. You've got your two now dials, and you've got your two later dials. I mean, you're a scientist. You know that every piece of equipment has a pr procedure! What? I'm okay. So glad you're wearing your safety goggles, Bill. Bill. Okay, so the air is going to be warmer later. And the water's warmer and it's going to be cooler later? You know, right now you remind me of Driftwood. Nice to look at, but you're just kind of floating around, not doing much. It'd be great if you could be more like, say, a 
tiger shark and swim around hunting for answers. Buddy! <laughs> I Why am I lost all this game? <laughs> Why am I we not solving these riddles? <laughs> I literally doing, uh, joined the uh, club today! <laughs> Why am I the only one working on this? <laughs> They're doing other shit that they probably talked about at that meeting a while ago. <laughs> You're the one who's <laughs> been jerking off for three hours down here in the basement, <laughs> breaking shit, and trying to microwave a cat. <laughs> I wasn't trying to microwave a cat. I was specifically opposed to pressurizing the cat. <laughs> Please tell us a cursed gremlin idea, <laughs> Lily. Uh, okay, well, the weather ranger does best is make clouds from water, but water vapor itself needs to hit your eye on something like dust. When for dust particles, we know almost never any clouds or fog. Wild. That's neat. Uh, can I. Oh, wait. Uh huh. Condensation, precipitation, evaporation. Wow. Get an ultra centrifuge. Put ball bearings in the tubes. Set centrifuge to max. Watch chaos develop. That sounds that sounds dangerous. Worst cloud. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so I mean, what if I just like wow? And I guess that makes sense. So it's warm, warm water, cool air. Warm air, warm water. So the warm water will evaporate, and the cool air will make it condense, and that's it. Cool. <laughs> the clouds you made at first gave way to a hazy fog because you set the final state of the weather radar to change from cool air to warm air. Water's still in the air, but a lot of it has changed back to invisible vapor. It was there whether or not you can see it or not. Ha ha. Whether you can see it or not. Get it, get it. Uh, okay, so. I really would like some more vicious weather if I cool. can. First, you need warm water and cool air. Perfect conditions for clouds and rain. <clears throat> clouds come in from warm water that's evaporated in the air and chilled out. Later, as the water cooled off, it stopped evaporating. Less evaporation means fewer clouds. Fewer clouds means less rain. Neat. Do we get any remarkably clever and informative scientific song parodies in this game? But I don't. I don't remember if we do or not. God, I hope so. Okay, the weather. I see Y-C-L-E. Tell you what it means to me. I see Y-C-L-E. So... That was a real one from the show. So... Oh, there's actually a map of this goddamn place. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh. And it sucks to listen to. Uh-huh. Okay, so... I mean... Plants, right? Oh, a light meal. Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, didn't... Didn't you get that one right from the start? I didn't really think about it until just this moment, so oh. no. Okay. Now, is this going to 
accept this as a plant or okay hey max that's photosynthesis beyond belief that's barking up the right vegetation continued application may buy your salvation awesome news you've been upgraded six more wins and doom is evaded oh can I take that as a yep? Yeah! Nice! Ah, we did it without any clues. We're just so good at smart. Nice. Shakes is awake, but... Bill! <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you been watching Game of Thrones lately? <laughs> I'm kind of out of the loop. I think that show's been done for a couple years. <laughs> The only dog around here is Pavlov, the dog of science, and he does like to eat science. <laughs> he loves to. Well, I mean, he, he did have a funny dinosaur <laughs> bone. That's true, and that is science. Okay, so that's that's a volcano. That's a vol ass cano, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an ass volcano. The, ooh. So is there a Taco Bell at my labs anywhere? <laughs> hey, what's shaking? If you want to really find out, the Tectonics Lab is the place. We, Bill, we know! We know, Bill! We know, Bill! And push Bill. the Earth's crust around with Bill. Bill! 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 Oh, I can escape the Bill. <laughs> okay. But he can still text you. <laughs> so what? Oh my god. Oh, we have to get this thing to produce a volcano, uh, your data don't we? Seem... Your data sucks. Okay, tell us how like, it works. I oh. feel like Boof had a pretty targeted quote there at that moment. Model the Earth's geologic <laughs> oh, <no. processes>. that <laughs> is, Bill and the theme song aren't cheers that cries to Earth. stop. Check out the controls. There's a monitor with Christ. photos of real world geological sites. You know, keypad, when we're done with this, of course, the button that gets uh -huh. me going, the go button. We can probably you can select a real like, site and see what remix the Bill Nye theme just song photo, with just the our frustrated cries of Bill, <laughs> Bill, or you can Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> cool. The Earth's crust is cool, <laughs> which is good. Cool. Because if it were hot, like the inside of the Earth, we'd all be walking around like this. <laughs> oh my god, he brought out his stand there for a second. Is broken up into huge slabs <laughs> what do you think his stand is? She blinded me with science? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's when hot blobs of rock get pushed or would it be weird up, science? And they push the tectonic plates around. Hmm. Check it out! Well, wait, no, the stand... stands are named after the band, so it couldn't be that. Hmm. Are there some named after... <laughs> Here's a fun plank, plank you can pray on your peers. When they're not looking, replace their lunch in the fridge with spare sheets of Agros Matrix. <laughs> Sit back and watch their surprise. Agros! Agros! Ah, oh, when Wander becomes a, a scientist. Yeah, Killer Queen. Killer Queen's oh, a song. Oh, hey, okay. Crazy Diamond is a song. Okay, well, let's... Now, should we get Rainier, St. Helens? Ooh. Wanda Fucka. Ooh. <laughs> a bridge. Let's, let's get St. Helens on the phone. All right. Hello, volcanoes are us. <laughs> oh, he's Sangria. Also, hey, hello sangria. and hi. We're learning. We're learning about science. Cool. In some places, one of the Earth's plates will push down underneath another plate. We're learning about plate Bill's separation up, anxiety. Hot, <laughs> rock, this is, I think surface, Bill called this volcanoes. the seduction Geysers, zone. Or my favorite, <laughs> uh oh. 
feeling pretty seduced. I don't know about you. Find the secret Uh-oh. ending where we can seduce Max. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's kind of a problem, huh? Would love to click on a volcano for you there, Max. Oh, well, maybe... Like... He's gonna be like, there's more. You can't just show me a picture of a volcano, you asshole. <laughs> hmm. Incorrect, but not bad. In fact, I'd say that's one small step for science, guys. One giant meteoroid for mankind. But keep trying. That was that was pretty weak. <laughs> Maybe if we dial up a different volcano. I think. I think your your fucking stick shift might have something to do with something too. Oh, oh there we go. No, that was that was the same thing that happened oh. before. I just dialed up the uh, and like I had it in this one before, and then it was like, okay, let's put the stick shift to lateral fault. Oh, okay. Did Rainier was Rainier a volcano? I feel like that was like that's like a big ass dormant volcano. Might well be. Well, judging by the fact that it also exploded, yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I guess the Mid Atlantic Ridge is probably fairly active. Can I use my numpad for this? This sucks. It's this was made in the 90s, of course not. Keyboards had numpads then? Yeah, but they didn't have... They didn't have quality of life game controls. Fair. Ooh. That's probably not it. You made wet. Did we do Mount St. Helens? We did Mount St. Helens. We did do Mount St. Helens. Let's do this one then. One, yeah, let's do Wandafaka. It could be with the other. There was the one about the like hot, the geothermal vents, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, that was nothing. Come in. What was that noise? Yeah. This is that just going to be the. Yeah, this is going to be the volcano animation again, though, isn't it? Probably. For an ear exploded, I will be wicked dead also. Yep, there we go. Okay, same again. Okay. Bill is. He wants, he wants to talk to you so bad about volcanoes. Ooh. Cool. In some places, one of the Earth's. Wait, no, we already, we already had this one. But there is a volcano pick on the wall. Which wall? Is there? That there again, like it, it. Max has not been happy with just. Oh, on the catwalk. Max has not been happy with just pictures before. It's true. Oh, but where is Schrodinger? Oh, of course it's named Schrodinger. Oh, hey, it's fixed. Nice. Oh, sweet. Well, we have to. We have to solve the puzzles to well, disable or to convince the, 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 the like asteroid laser network to not let us all die. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking explode this thing again with you standing behind it, I swear <laughs> to god. Okay, we were conducting important radio experiments before. And putting it under oh. pressure didn't do anything last time, so... Oh. I think we forgot to turn it on. We sure did. Silence. Yeah, yeah, cause there's no... No yeah. air to, to carry the the sweet tunes. In space, no one can hear your sweet tunes happen. Okay, let's put this balloon in there. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be like peep jousting. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh. Whoops. 
God damn it. <laughs> Bill, did you inflate all those balloons in preparation for us doing that? Why are, you, why are you up there on the catwalk? Doing your little turn on the catwalk. <laughs> There's glitter raining down on us right now. We're right here. <laughs> Bill, for, for a he, he man... actually not acting done with those balloons there. For a fucking man who is trying to save the world, apparently, you have too much free time. <laughs> It's just so except. <laughs> okay, the rock, the rock doesn't do anything. We can't stop the rock by <laughs> increasing the pressure. Hmm. Can we get like another balloon if I close the closet? Oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, one experiment, one experiment at a time. Some good water. <gasps> That's some angry water. Uh huh. I don't like. I guess a styrofoam cup won't be happy. Like it's going to. Oh. <laughs> now, did it explode when I put it into the red zone, or when I tried to put it above the red zone? I, I think when you tried to put it above the red zone. <laughs> Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Cut four ants. Cut four ants. <laughs> <laughs> Baby cup. <laughs> Shrinkage. It's cold in there, y'all. Oh no. Why did it want us to play with the pressure chamber? Fun. One of the riddles was like. When you can't stand the heat where you can't take the pressure, prove there's a spot where life grows in great measure. I mean... She wasn't fast, but... Lives on Earth and blows up in the sky where it never eats and doesn't die. A, a, a balloon? The Jesus God, dude! <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll talk to Connie Vection. Connivection. Dandelion. Rover. Hey, Vera. Yeah, we just exploded a balloon in this pressure chamber. Uh huh. Largest living off the smallest. Small things at the micro lab. Okay. I want to go to the micro lab. It's okay, Vera. It probably wasn't anyone you knew. Or if it was, they were into it. Oops. Now, I'm really curious about this one because, like, I feel like we were extremely close on this one. We were right? on the tail, yeah. And then there was, like, an earthquake. That kind of distracted us. So can can we induce a skeleton? I would love to induce a skeleton. Yeah, it is looking for the fossil. Like, I would love to find the fossil. Yeah, I guess try that. Try yeah. the picture of the fossil. Catch my drift? Excuse me while I print up a welcome to me banner.
Oh, that was unnecessary. Bitch. But are you just gonna be there every single time we're in here? Yup. And we can't like put a new skeleton in the in the dirt. I don't think so. Can we like like what if we Okay. Okay, no, we got that no, detail. Definitely did that. Is there maybe something that we're missing with this? Nope, there was just one Nobody oh. has anything to say oh. about it. Oh. Just click on a bone from the pit, drag it into position, and put the animal together. It's a bone puzzle. You can put something wild together, like uh, a dinosaur, or an alligator, or uh, a chicken? <laughs> well, probably. Uh, Sam's leftover lunch, I guess. <laughs> to identify a fossil, just drag in the fossil Bill, I would love to put well, together some bon bones. <laughs> there are no fossils. You just click the dirt. Nothing. Nothing. Unless, like, on day two, there's, like, different fossils? It's a possibility. How many days do we have? I forget. Like, five days to save the world, apparently. Okay. But I, I, I guess, like, in five days, the meteor wouldn't hit. It would just be in a position that if we shot it with our big funny laser, it, that would still be bad. Right. Okay. Time to I see all of our lab. small friends in the micro lab. That's not what DNA looks like. That's not what DNA looks like. I'm gonna die on this hill. That's a single helix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Dog oh. beetle. Why is there a bug poster in the microbio lab? Uh, relatively micro? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. If you want to take a very close look at something, just open the drawer and click on a specimen vial. The magnified image will appear on the monitor. To compare one specimen to another, click on the compare button. Then click on another sample. They'll both appear on the monitor side by side. <laughs> it is a single helix. Single helix is a twisty ladder. You don't twist the ladder. You wrap the ladder around something. That's what a double helix is. That's just a twisty ladder. That's not what DNA is. I thought the helix was just the spirally thing, though. Yeah, it is, but it's a single helix. I mean, it, it, it's got to have two ends. Well, that's that's a there's... helix, and that's a, the second helix. No. <laughs> it's just two ends of the same helix. Oh. It's just a ladder that's been twisted. Oh, I see. You you have to take the ladder and then wrap it around a pole, and that shape is what a double helix is. You Caribbean diatom. <sighs> I'm very scared of the virus drawer because it's gonna like, like oh look at this. This is what a coronavirus looks like. We sure hope this doesn't get out of control in 25 years or so. Copepods, tiny planktons. Oh. Oh. oh, Johnny and the Planktons. Cockolith. Cockolith. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Oh. The cockoliths drift to the ocean floor. Oh, yummy. Ah, oh, who fucking crushed my Pringle? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Radio Free Larian. Okay, so I was sort of looking for, like, extremophiles, but... Maybe it's mm -hmm. under viruses and very tiny stuff. Yeah, I think one of those is definitely talking about deep sea life. Mm -hmm. Shelled amoeba. Shelled amoeba. Yeah, like, there's one riddle in here that's like, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Yeah, where you can't stand the heat, where you can't take the pressure, prove there's a spot where life grows in great measure. Which absolutely sounds like fucking um, extremophiles living around an undersea vent. Yeah, we need some... Which... Tube worms or something. Check plant stuff for the dandelion thing. Alright, let's, let's have a look at the plant stuff. Tiger how, do I, how do I do votes in chat again? Oh, um, fossil. I think it's just slash vote. If you're wanting to do a prediction where people bet on things, though, then it's like um, slash prediction. Uh -huh, I think I, I just need a poll. I'm gonna make a oh fungal spores, yay! Nightshade. Okay, what's in the grab bag though? Dust. Dust. Toilet paper. Velcro. Ah, oh, look at. Ah, oh, look at that data. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the view that we saw on that one CD on archive.org. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the Franklin mineral? Ah. Oh. What the Franklin badge is made of? Minerals that glow under ultraviolet light. Scientists think this rock came up from inside the Earth when two tectonic plates spread apart over a billion years ago. Neat. Oldest known rock. Nearly four billion years old, this hunk. Wow. Dang. Okay. Loser. So... One's in the very tiny... Come here. Aerosol bacteria... Chat, Some vote! Our virus is alive! Vote! <laughs> Tell me your oh, answers. Oh god. Pneumonia. Gross. Just... just a virus. That's a virus. Viruses are among the simplest living things, typically just a strand of DNA surrounded by a protein shell. The code of this virus is 252 pieces arranged in a shape of 20 sides. Some have hooks to attach to a host cell. So with that in mind, are viruses alive? Like... Yeah, this seems to think yes. I, I mean... This is a, This is the thing, isn't it? Like... What... Where does life begin? What What is alive? When does something stop being, like, a collection of... Uh minerals and being uh and start being okay this is a thing that we would consider alive exactly and, and well, like lily says life is a fairly arbitrary categorization but like it's one of those things where it's like well okay this this cat's alive absolutely i'm alive mm -hmm. um unless we start getting into philosophical debates at which point <laughs> <laughs> well life is a uh uh, a unit of, of mechanisms that can defy entropy. <laughs> yeah, I think what Julie's saying is correct. Like, um, they're they're living, but they're not sentient because like they can procreate in some way, shape, or form. Oh, oh. they ah oh, neat. They do, but not really on their own. They can't really maintain their own homeostasis. I mean, they can't really. Oh, we're split right down the middle. <laughs> like, great. Like humans require uh, some things to procreate as well, and like that's you know shelter, like smooth jazz, <laughs> shelter, smooth <laughs> jazz, that sort of thing. <laughs> We were watching a thing recently about it that suggested that, um, uh, put out the theory that the virus isn't really alive, it's more like a spore, and the hybrid that it creates when it infects a cell is, is what an actual virus, the living thing is, which is weird. Um, the way I see it, 
viruses are not living things. It's like they're a rogue collection of DNA that codes for the right sort of proteins to create a thing that can preserve and then replicate that DNA. It seems almost like it's a, a, a parallel attempt for life to develop spontaneously. Like, you consider the primordial soup, which is just a whole bunch of amino acids and organic chemicals and stuff floating around that could kind of assemble into DNA that wouldn't really do anything until it just so happened to be able to do something. And it, it kind of seems like that's what viruses are doing also. Except there are sort of viruses that can do some stuff that others can't, that are complex enough to possibly... You know that they have a their own mm. kind of immune systems against other viruses. Some help, yes. It's but it's a weird. There's more to this kind of middle space. Good thinking. But now we're getting somewhere. You know, it's scientists like you that make a big difference around here. Thanks. Thanks, Bill. I guess. Um, First prototype is mainly composed of lipid bilayers. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I, I, a lot of viruses, I think, are, are lipid bilayers, too. Um, you know, the um, coronavirus vaccine uses polyethylene glycol to create a sort of um, similar, like, phospholipid shell to carry the RNA. Ooh. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, there is actually a dedicated ocean lab here, isn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, there it is. And if anybody's afraid of poisonous polyethylene glycol, it's also in Tylenol, so like, don't ah. fucking worry about it. <laughs> wait, the earthquake is part of the petrodactyl riddle? How? Petrodactyl. Oh, did it shake bones loose somewhere? God, I hope so. Uh, I guess I'm gonna push some fucking buttons on this thing. Ooh, I'm, I'm afraid of these things, these deep sea robots, because you know we're gonna have, we're gonna look out of that cool camera, and we're gonna go real deep, and then a great old one's gonna fucking come up out of the darkness and just grab it. <laughs> Probably fine. Nice rose, huh? No, no, not this one. This one. The loosened bones. Submersible explorer. <coughs> She's aboard the Poseidon two. Now it's really cool about what happened to Poseidon one. That you can drive her by remote control from right mm. here in Nile Labs. Once you get got into a fight with um, you can use the control to Zeus. choose the depth uh. you want her to dive to. Watch the picture she sends back, and you might see something cool. You got cucked it's by Odysseus, and I just want to do it. God. Just figure out <laughs> what it is. So enjoy your rose, but be careful. Oh. Got it. Damn roses. Damn thorns. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. That is about lunchtime. Oh. Oh, I have to do something cool quick before I just start singing. <laughs> <laughs> Show tunes. You found the rubber duck ocean current indicator of science. Oh, science the, re the Redocus. Ah, oh, why would science be interested in rubber ducks? Cargo ships build a bunch of rubber ducks into the North Pacific Ocean. Ducks get carried along. Blah, blah, blah. Ocean currents are a lot like rivers. They're like rivers in an ocean. Uh, ducks are frozen in the Arctic ice. They end up in the Atlantic. Bang. I feel like that mention of uh, rivers in the ocean is going to be important because, like, one of our riddles yeah. mentioned um, a river that flows over a river that flows over mountains that are tallest. You know, point... <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> here you'll find the largest living off the smallest. Hey, uh, thinking of working with the Poseidon too? Oh, oh yeah, like whales eating krill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you find any clues, let me know. 
You're the ocean expert. You do it. Kr <laughs> krills and whales. Whatever. Good night. Good night. Good, good night. by to help you scientists in whatever way I can. I can do many things. I dance the jig, play with me parrot, or me favorite, work. Now I can Are you ready, kids? Sensors, <laughs> deploy me sensors, launch the remote controlled sub, or give you a report from wherever I be. So the rubber ducks was a specific do? experiment. Where is it? Our that the accidental version of that experiment with all the Garfield phones? <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? That was, like, in the North Sea, I think. Okay, we've got to go to C4 for some lunch. My battleship! Uh. No. in yonder sky be approaching faster than a schooner in a nor'easter. Remember that? And I can only go this far in one day. So choose a place I can sail to that's within range. All you gotta do is select the letter and number of the sector you want and I'll go there. I like a hungry I'll click on the map, maybe. I think I've gotta wait for him to stop talking. What do you want oh, me to dear. do? Oh. Aye, aye, nigh, aye, lad. Wait. We're steaming out now. <laughs> I'll let you know when we arrive. It's a day's <laughs> yeah, travel. Yeah, so that's going to be the long haul, huh? It was zero days for this one, at least, so that's something. Can we send him to the ocean floor? What was that? <laughs> Scary. I, I mean, it's a fair question. Oh, I love this. this is a scary <laughs> murder shower. <laughs> yeah, spooky ambiance. <laughs> Sonic net. Oh hell yeah! Oh. Oh, I oh. hate it. No, that sounded like my corpus close making kissy noises. <laughs> oh, my brain just shivered right apart. Scary. Terrell says search term sonic feet. I don't think I will, thank you. No, we will not. Oh, do we need to lead him to where the the humpback is? I think we do, yeah. No, oh, actually, is a, a is a do bowheads and humpbacks both feed off of plankton? Uh, oh, what about beluga? I feel like Bill's probably trying to tell us those answers. <laughs> he probably is like, hey. Hey! Humpback <laughs> whales are really fucking cool! You dumby! <laughs> oh. Yep, this here's the sonic net. It's like a radio. We use oh. it to listen in on what's happening under the sea. We've got ten underwater microphones called hydrophones. Huh? To listen, just twist the C sounder dial until you hear something. <laughs> when you hear an unusual sound, Hit the what's it to Lily, both to bowheads and humpbacks are baleen whales. If you want to find so out where the sound I would think is that from, yes. Hit the where's it button. Okay. It's just like talk radio. Oh, what's the Only, biggest? Uh, That's a good point. It said the largest. <laughs> and they don't yell all the time. And they actually make sense. And they have something to say. And they don't pay taxes because... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I feel like he was going on an old man rant while we were both going, Hey, which whale's bigger? <laughs> Who wills big jacks? I have a fucking mean to protect it in the hands of the worker. <laughs> Plampton. 
less more. Okay. <laughs> they don't pay taxes. Whale noises. Exactly. <laughs> Just having a Whales normal have one. it figured out. Okay, well, if bones have been shaken loose somewhere, I'm gonna go and find what's shaken. Yeah, I'll search for bones. In the bonesman? Oh, we've Ooh. been here since the earthquake. I know. Like, there's bones. They only had the budget for one photo, though. <laughs> hey, bud. Oh, go back, go back. Riddler click whale. Riddler. Hi. Thank you, Dolphin. Hello there. No. What do you mean, Riddler click whale? What does that mean? Uh, bring up the whale and click it with the riddle button. Oh, that's a good point. Ooh, and I think there was a lot of plankton up there, so... That's the... we want the... is the bowhead bigger or the humpback bigger? I think the bowhead's pretty big. A river that flows over mountains that are tallest, here you'll find the largest living over, off of the smallest. A river that flows over mountains that are tallest, so let's... So it's... So gonna we'll be at... one of those currents. We'll look at the relief map here. Yeah. So those are some pretty big mountains up there. Yeah. There's a ton of plankton Ooh. up there. Okay, yeah, that feels right to me. And the currents. It's gotta there, be, right? There are currents. It's it's asking be. for a river specifically, so like I, I guess let's try with um funny whale first. I have a feeling Max is going to want us to send that dude over to the quadrant. Yeah. Ah, I see signs of a spark. Oh. You have a burning ambition to succeed, no doubt. Too bad that large flying rock is so close to snuffing you out. Was, was that good? <laughs> nope. No, I don't think so. So let's have him go to A1 and try that out. Right? Yeah, I, I kind of want to just try another clicky on this. Through mistakes, one becomes wise. And looking at you, I can tell you're on the road to wisdom. Keep trying. This game is very rude to us. <laughs> it's very hostile. Oh, time to talk to Captain Pirate. What do you want us to do? Glass comes from the seas, so it's all gonna make sense. Okay, neat. All right. Uh, are, are you there yet? Aye, Rose. She's a beaut. No, she's not me, sweetheart. She's me remotely operated submersible. I know what she is! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Sam Andreas here. I've reached the area that you pinpointed oh. on that quake. Interesting geology. Lots of evidence of seismic disturbance. I think I'm gonna take a look around. See if I can find something that relates to those riddles. Okay. okay. It's a ship to pirate radio in the comm center. <laughs> Once I launch her, she'll take commands from you through the satellite link. If all is working right. Do that. So, 
ostensibly now we should be able to go over to the rose thing and check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just want to see what it do. Mm hmm Okay. Did I? Neat. Ooh. I love how uh -oh. expertly they masked all these, like, 144p videos by <laughs> putting know. them in tiny little areas without it looking weird. Very good. Uh -huh. Great old one. Oh, <gasps> there it is. A Jeblo Farge. Love that something badly scrundled the video. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. oh, is that a siphonophore? I think so, yeah. On blob like creatures hunting nearby. Those are cool as hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a siphonophore. Uh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What is sad, Alice? Um, Invertebrate life clowns. detects them. Every animal that is shown in this game has likely passed away by now. Oh man! No! <laughs> Jellyfish can technically live forever, they just revert to hydras and then become... or medusas or whatever, and then become... Oh. Jellyfish again. Deep sea fangly fish. I love me a good deep sea fangly fish. Okay. So let's see. I, I would love to get us some. Is it gonna let us move again? I think it should do. So A1, you reckon? That's what it lit up when we looked for where the whale was. What do you want us to do? I be holding steady. What do you want me to do? Yeah, one day. Okay, it's not so bad. Not so bad. Aye, aye, nigh, aye, labs. We're steaming out now. This is extremely you know involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's there's it it's not it's not magic school bus level, that's for sure. <laughs> no. We're we're in it now. Fascism. <laughs> Okay, like, we looked at all the riddles and we're like, well, that's probably this, and that's probably that, and we're still, like... Yeah, we've got the tell, but we need the show. Yeah. It's edutainment week. It's... Yeah, it's girls' it's dream teams edutainment. start of the school season, which was definitely planned. Oh, yeah, um, I guess it was. Eats oceans and lakes, so it must be thirsty where there's water... Where there's thirst, there's water. What are you waiting for? Lead yourself to water. Okay. Bill. 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 Billbert. Bailey's. What headed giant that chills Strikes out fast? Strikes with a blast. Like that? Feels like a goddamn hurricane, right? A hurricane's hot headed? I mean, they there's... don't have like heads. They have eyes and arms. He's talking about the heart like the of the hopes hurricane. and dreams. Yeah. Okay. Let's. See. So it was. For some reason, I I feel like you can make one in this thing. Mm -hmm. A hot-headed giant that chills out fast. So that would be like. It sounds more like the sun to me. Yeah. Gonna be anything? Probably not. Ooh, it looks kind of spinny. Mm.
Cool. At first, cool. you warmed up the air and water, and some of the warm water turned into a vapor and floated up into the air. But later, you made the air cool down. As the air cooled, the water vapor molecules cooled too. They slowed down, and some of them stuck together. Then they condensed back into liquid water droplets to form clouds. And then, rain. Oh yeah, <laughs> love that rain. Great, but that's not quite what we're going for, is it? Yeah, not really. A tornado big enough to blow blow the meteor apart. I like that way of thinking. Okay, so we've only got like four parameters to play with here, so <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get it eventually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What, uh, mm, oh, we already did warmer to cool air. At first, you warmed up the air and water, and some of the water. <sighs> what if we, what if we keep the water warm, but then make the air go from cool to warm? Okay, yeah. Because then more air should rise and mix with the clouds that are already there and maybe make it spin? Let's find out. Ooh. That's closer. Mm -hmm. Nothing from that. Okay. So keep the cool to warm air. Warmer to cooler uh, water? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, warmer no. to warmer. Which is exactly the same setup as we had before, I think. Cooler. Warmer. Then warmer. Cool. Cooler. Ooh. Hey chat, does anyone know how hurricanes work? <laughs> I guess I guess twisty I guess twisty mm. may just be a diversion this may just be a diversion like the pressure chamber this might just be a can you make rain happen well, it's a shame you don't know anything about meteorology because we're trying to stop one <laughs> Oh yeah, there's like the pressure cylinders. Ah, great place to store them right next to the doghouse. I know. There is the um, Sky Lab that probably has more meteorology things. Yeah, but it needs a password. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, red meant the pressure in the chamber got really, really high. High enough to blow the machine up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so warm warm water tends to evaporate. Warm air rises. It's less dense because it's more spread apart because it's fast. The, the particles are faster. So it rises up. And huh. then it cools down, which is when it condenses all the liquid into clouds and stuff and then you've got the really dry air that kind of drifts back and then when the hot air and then the cold with the and then the uh, the twisty uh -huh. somewhere there's a twisty involved and I don't know, I don't know twisty <laughs> I see okay coherent cogent and that's how meteorology What's this for? Okay, we cannot <laughs> we cannot have information nothing. on hole. Hole is boring. <laughs> what? 
love to call up one of our cool pals on the Nikon. We can, isn't that info? Probably. Hey, glad you called for help. I love help. I guess it's just because, well, I'm a giver. Give, 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 that's all I do. And I'm ready to give. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> One thing. Sometimes the Nikon button will start to flash all on its own. You know what that means. I don't. So, uh, try pushing one when it does. And let me know. Bye. I love you. Bye. Hey, Cl clue, Black maybe? For help. I love help. Ah, yes, the clue button. Click on it when you found something that might be important, like part of an answer. We'll try to help you figure out whether your science is cool or hot. You cool? Oh, useful. Okay, I I guess let's try that. Like yeah. I sort of assumed that that was gonna be just a ah, oh, you're asking for a clue. Well, you're, even though you're saving the, the fucking world, you're a little big smelly loser. Well, I think. Oh. I'm so excited I just can't hide I'm about to lose control. You know something I think I like? Excuse me? What? Who's moody? I don't know. They're very excited. <laughs> they sure are. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Well, I'm I think so we... excited. <laughs> I'm so scared. No, no. Okay, so I, I think we sent... Sam Rockwell or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> to the point where the hurricane or the earth earth cane happened. And he's he's there now and a little later he's gonna be like, Right, oh, fucking found some bonosauruses. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna bring the bones back and then we can we can build a build a boy uh where can we find one? Max won't accept pictures. Okay. Some flyinosaurs live by the water. Okay, well. How how late is my labs open? <laughs> I you know, I'm wondering that too. Like how can we, can we go to can we go to bed? Can we go back to our hotel or whatever? <laughs> I mean, I feel like the the Earth is at stake here. Yeah, but we we're just like waiting for shit to happen. Where can we find the the puzzle code for the 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 cool place we want to go? I would love to know. And... <laughs> okay, so there's like. Um, there's like three discrete volcano puzzles. But what about the dog? What about the dog? How the hell oh, is there like a is there like a dog named Volcano? I don't a think volcano so. named after a dog. <laughs> Surely not. White Bill. Hey, do you know how to use the funny weather machine? <laughs> well, you Maybe you can weather up a volcano. <laughs> Bill Nye. That's how I say it. There's science in them our hills. We are too. Okay. Wasn't really what What's I that wanted. Green thing in the bottom left. Oh right. I was like, that? That's that's grass, I guess. That is, that's the plan bit. <laughs> it's the plan bit. When did Bill become the hot dog man? I <laughs> everyone has a bit of hot dog man in them, even if they yeah. don't know. Uh, he had a hamburger for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm gonna at least try and put the clue into the, here for the. Yeah. Uh, that's some hot pressure. 
These plates spread apart, hot lava wells up to fill the gap. There's lots of pressure to that deep in the ocean too. I think you're getting warmer. Can we do we try this for this? I, I should we just give it a shot? Yeah, I guess let's give it a shot. Like I don't think we've we've really done a oh, there's life We're here. We're not proving that life grows I'm here, here yet. Yeah. Discourage you young scientist, but the answer is way off course. Our meteoroid on the other hand is right on schedule. Neat. Cool. And if you had to guess, Max, that schedule would be... <laughs> is it three days or five? Just trying to figure out our calendar. <laughs> Just wondering if it would be worth ordering a pizza. <laughs> Sam again. Oh. Hey, I need oh, hey. Oh. Now I've got four areas that might be worth taking a closer look. We don't have much time, though. That meteoroid is homing in. Now check these out. Where do you think I should dig? The river canyon? The dry lake bed? The limestone cliffs? Or, uh, that big pile of garbage that was left by those reckless campers? <laughs> okay. <sighs> like, dry lake? Limestone holds a lot of fossils, right? For one thing. But True, but I think we're thinking that the, uh, uh, pterosaurs hunted near water so we would mm. want to be near water to find its bones as... yeah but like a dry lake bed are, are we assuming like a geologically recent dry lake bed or uh i don't know the answer to that let's go with dry lake bed because i feel like that's the answer though yeah. because the only other wet one is the river canyon and that feels less okay i'll take your like... lead your science has been pretty solid so far has it? Has it? <laughs> okay. We made it rain and we blew up a pressure chamber a couple of times. <laughs> uh, we've made Mr. Nye very cross with us. <laughs> uh, Sangria asks if we watched Bill Nye a lot when we were younger. I did not, on account of the fact that Bill Nye wasn't really in uh, the UK. And I watched it religiously and owned this game. I was the only person to ever own this game, so <laughs> yeah. I this is exciting for me. Why don't Leave you give me alone? Why don't you give chat a funny little link to uh, where they can get this on yeah, archive.org? Do that, and then I didn't. Because archive.org has a surprising number of games just up there for free. Um, some of them they are playable directly in a DOS box in browser emulator. Uh, <laughs> In England, they had Sheeby, Phoebe, the Bleeby, Deevy. Uh, regrettably, no, they, we had Brainiac, which um, was... Oh, hey, a sperm whale. Oh, it's different now. Oh, shit. We had a Brainiac, which... Oh, Brainiacs? Something like that. And they were constantly caught uh, falsifying the results of their experiments to make better TV. Ooh, that sounds, like, fun. <laughs> yeah. Like, there was one experiment that was like, oh, will something explode if you do this thing with it? And the, the, re oh, the answer was a resounding yeah. fucking no, but they just exploded the fucking thing oh. anyway. So they were like five minute crafts back in the day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I do, seeing the name spelled out, Brainiac, I do think I've seen some of that. Whales are the largest animals on Earth, and they live by eating some of the smallest. You find a river that a whale can swim in, and it needs to be near mountains. What kind of rivers are there in the ocean? That's where all the whales are. Go see what you can see over on the chart table. Okay, I, so... I think we're pretty on point with this one. I feel very confident. Yeah. Especially with, like, hinting, oh yeah, ocean currents are like rivers. Uh -huh. So... We would want, like, plankton, we want a current, and we want... I was about to make a joke, but I don't know if I safely can. I was going to make some kind of joke about how we need to find the largest, li largest living off the smallest, and the sperm whale might be bigger, but it only eats <laughs> Fucking God. Well, that's why they call it that. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, time to get nagged again. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome.
Welcome to Bad News Tonight. I'm Chet Brinko. With just four days Hi, to Chet. go before meteoroid impending to May crashes into the planet, let's pause and reflect for a moment. <laughs> in Christ. You Let's take a look at the progress the team at Nye Labs has made. Well, looks like Nye Labs has solved one riddle with six to go. Okay, tomorrow's weather is expected to be hot and sunny with some fog and an occasional thunderstorm. That's it for bad news tonight. I'm Chet Brinkow. I'll be here awaiting. <laughs> Now, do I remember him getting progressively more unhinged and terrified as this goes on, or am I just making that up in my brain? God, I hope so. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. The uh, the funny cookbook. I, I think I know what you're talking about. The very funny, hilarious cookbook. Oh. The, the yes. Haha, <laughs> what, if, what if we just didn't have a government cookbook? <laughs> Man, I heard you clench there. <laughs> yeah, you know, natural harvest. <laughs> natural harvest, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> love to go to Skylab. Actually, hang on, let me... Let me see if well, we can... Let's look at that puzzle, cause, or passcode, because I, I wasn't paying attention when we were there. <laughs> Bill just kind of fucking okay. came out of here before. Yeah, we should ask him for the password. <laughs> hey, Bill! Can we clue? Can we clue it? Oh, the Far Lord. The Lord from oh, Fart, Fart Lore. lore. Oh. <laughs> do you have proficiency in Fart Lore? <laughs> we can do. Roll a knowledge check for me, please. Um, Plankto! Plankto! <laughs> um. Oh, is it science? That feels... Afraid you stalled out, Space Cadet. Spend a little more time exploring the lab and you might find some clues to help you out. Don't you should up, know, or you'll miss out on the best part of the lab. The world's ending. Tell me the fucking password. Afraid you stalled out. That's wrong. Okay. I'm sure, like Bill Nye's password for his actual human phone is just <laughs> science, or some some derivative of science rules. Science rules. Science rules everything around me. Oh, we're on day two. Okay. Oh, Look yeah. I guess that news bulletin must have been... It was like at 7.59 p.m. Okay. Oh, a natural 20. <laughs> oh, oh. A fart lore skill would let you know what someone ate based on the toot. I hate that. I, I hate it a lot. I am upset. A choo-choo. Yeah, choo choo. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Perpetual motion. Bill's been fucking keeping it to himself, the bastard. Oh my god. I remember my dad declaring that he invented a perpetual motion machine once. Oh, I remember this clock. I wanted this clock when I was a kid. I went to trance. <laughs> but my. My dad made a uh, just went into mad science mode as he does occasionally, and went down into his workshop and made <laughs> basically just a, uh, a spinning wheel. He had these like really good like neodymium magnets or whatever, and he put them along the wheel, and then it had like a little arm up top that had another one, with the idea that as it spun, the magnet would attract and add more force to the wheel and the force would be enough for it to pass by the magnet and then start repelling it so it would... anyway it worked about as well as any perpetual motion machine does <laughs> which is to say it didn't but oh 
Oh, I turned into one of those sound dogs from fucking Half Life. <laughs> Waking up have to do with you trying to bake something. I don't know. It's early. Wake and bake. The world's ending. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. The dog looks like he wants to party. <laughs> this fucking dog sent to the negative zone. Okay, so here's. Oh <gasps> wait, does that make him God? Oh, who's who is that that Bill's posing next to? I don't know. A few people. Oh, I was I hoping know it was. That is. Yeah, I was hoping for a moment that it was Carl Sagan, but I don't think it is. <laughs> That's too much hair. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Carl. Oh, wait, there's. Okay. Oh, I remember Pivnert. Pivnert. PV equals NRT. N I T S O T S. Nit salts. Nobody is terribly seductive on the shitter. <laughs> Gross! <laughs> but true. <laughs> Are you a butt truther? <laughs> no, I'm a skeleton theorist. We've been over this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put that in the wiki, I guess. The girl stream team <laughs> science wiki that oh, sleeps the skeleton. Sangria truth. only. <laughs> Sangria only says butt truths. Now, who who only tells butt lies? <laughs> I'm gonna guess match twenty. Tell me lies, tell me sweet but lies. Oh. Hmm. Do you believe in bugs at the love? Burr, herg, herg, burr. Oh, what about burgers? I want burgers. No, I'm just oh, looking at herg, burr on the periodic table. Mercury and a boron? <laughs> the wonderful thing is that, that I can say something and see people react to it in chat and I'm already going wait what did I say? what horrifying thing did I say? what did I do now? it's hard to have memories of things oh you find the password by dicking around in the cafeteria that makes sense ah oh, the world's tallest mountain is a volcano Ooh. Mauna Kea is a bunch of Taller than Mount Everest. Neat. Cool. That's a science fact. Butt lie. Every human has exactly two butt cheeks. Hmm. I mean, that's accurate. That th th that's a lie. I mean. Hmm. Well, no. I mean, on average. Huh. Hi. This lake's been dry for a pretty long time, but you know what? I found some tracks. Yeah, huge dinosaur tracks preserved in stone. Mm. They must have hung out near this lake. Pretty cool. Well, is there anything else you want me to check out? Hmm. Oh, so that wasn't it, huh? Yeah, I guess the river... Guess the okay, canyon. I'm on my way. Sleet, what is your favorite kind of science? That's a hard question to answer because I have a very broad love of science, and sometimes it kind of depends on my hyperfixation. Like it could be space. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I guess I know a fair bit about um, human body science, so I guess probably that. But I, yeah. I like space science a lot. Yeah, I'm a big fan of space science. But then I'll, I'll sometimes go into hyper-focus mode where I'm like, I want to do some world building. Hey, how do trade winds work? And then I spend like a whole evening learning about like Coriolis effect and, and basic meteorology. <laughs> and then... A living room is where you die and a dining room is where... Sorry, a living room is where you live, a dining room is where you dine. Why isn't a kitchen where you kitch? You know, that's a fair point. Uh huh. Greens 
private reserve. The more we recycle, the better the environment will be for the Earth and ourselves. Which is, you know, true, but your personal contributions don't mean shit while uh, bullshit like... Mm. Uh, Especially when it turns out most of the plastic you recycle just ends up in a big pile in Africa. Yeah. So, fucking put your local Congress people to uh, his feet to the fire. On a, f on a fire. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I hive hiving Lily for molecular microbiology and space science. And as for Alice, I mean, I've got a bunch. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, doing some pressure cooking. Heat and pressure go together. Heat made that balloon blow up because the air molecules inside it start moving faster and spreading out. The molecules push on the balloon and make it bigger and bigger until... This is a very special Whoa. stream for some people. Pressure cooking is cool. <laughs> it's fun. It's science. People who love science, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, did, she have, did she have a barred knife jaw on her shirt? I'm gonna sell her shirt for 5,000 bells. Um, yeah, so I, I have a bunch of world building projects, I guess, and sometimes I just get into, into things about it. Cheddar! Okay, so. I'm hungry. <laughs> well, what was in this pot? Passwords, I hope. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hey there, soldier of science. Time oh, to boy. sound off about my. Aren't you supposed to be in a plane? <laughs> when water heats up, it expands. Mm -hmm. Just like a stretchy rubber band. Just like stretchy Heat rubber bands. Up. Heat up. Expand. Expand. Heat up. Expand. Heat up. Expand. Heat up. Expand. So, as the water heats up, it turns <laughs> into an invisible gas. Uh -huh. Water vapor. When the vapor leaves the liquid water in the pot, it carries not just some water, but heat away with it, too. The water goes round and round in the cycle we scientists like to call... Heat convection. <laughs> Neat convection. That's convection. I'm Connie Vection. Over. Cool. That's a good thing she's interested in it. On average, are my world's high fantasy science fiction dystopian? Um. I do have some of some of each, honestly. I do have some fantasy stuff. I guess one of my bigger ones is is more of a like kind of swords and sandals into high fantasy. This kind of spans a long time period. I've got some sci-fi leanings, mm, some apocalyptic leanings. Um, I'm just gonna let that be. I have some surreal <laughs> fantasy, I guess. Christ. Hey, will you leave the kitchen, turn off the <laughs> stove for Newton sake. This fossil fuel is dirty, not to mention dinner. Okay, bud. I, they did just tell us the password, but I did We're just want to leave the fucking stove on because <laughs> I'm a monster. But then Bill's like, hey, you're burning fossil fuels. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Bill. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, well. Look who's got the right stuff. You made it into the Nylab Sky Lab. Have a blast. Oh, yeah, it's a kitchen on fire. Okay, is this gonna let us make a hurricane? Uh. Oh? Uh. I'd rather not. Oh. Oh. I see. It's huh? going to be a firework, and is that race? Mystery probe. Uh, ooh. 
<laughs> I'm so hungry. Like I said, this is going to be a very special stream for some people. <laughs> Cold cuts and cheese. Here we go. Uh, a chew. Uh, Bill. Oh, three, two, one. OG. OG. A disaster. Yep. Great. Great. <laughs> hmm. Those are Happy New Year. Hey, Chinese science rules. Fireworks date back to the third century BC when Chinese scientists began experimenting with rockets. Use gunpowder as fuel. Neat. Okay. Well. That was the mystery probe. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like how long it lingers on the mouth. <laughs> okay, so that's our funny rocket zone. I would like to go up the ladder. I would love to go up the ladder, though. There we go. This needs one of those walkie aroundy uh, mist games because, goddamn. Hey, there's mm -hmm. some of those balloons. Oh. Uh, Bill had. Hey, Vera, what's shaking? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. We This just gonna keep happening? Whoop! Uh-oh. <laughs> That's probably not good. That's probably fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that be. <laughs> She's just having some fun. <laughs> Contact the blimp. Captain Connivection here, reporting beautiful clear skies and light tailwinds. Find conditions for flying the human-powered blimp of science. <laughs> Ron, Standing by. did you know, by the way, uh -huh. that that uh, they, back in ye olde times, when uh -huh. they were making gunpowder, uh -huh. they used to, to go around uh, uh, during spring cleaning, where, where, where a bunch of like medieval, okay, so like a bunch of medieval peasants would be like, oh, it's winter time. We better put a bunch of straw in our yeah. house so we have a place to piss. And then when spring comes, we'll spring cleaning and get all of the piss hay out of our house. And then uh, gun mans would come along <laughs> and get the piss hay and they would use the urine to make the, the saltpeter for gunpowder. That's fair. I, I have heard this. I also enjoy that uh, we clicked the contact blimp button and Vera perked up. <laughs> I know, Connie. Just let me press the dirty socks button. All right. Let's see if you got the right stuff. Stand by to launch. Standing by. Standing by. Standing by. And launch. <laughs> now you've done it. The whole place is sucked in. What? What the fuck? What? <laughs> okay, we'll try it one more time. All right. No, I'm I'm good actually. <laughs> How many bags of dirty socks did you bring up there with you, lady? Expect patchy fog this morning and be on the lookout for some storms later in the day as a cold front moves in from offshore. Oh, okay. Good thing I got another one. Did <laughs> we just beat that just, guy with a storm recorder? Did you just kill a man? Well, that might be helping the grass. I don't think that answers any riddles. 
more helps their game. Roger, Nylas. Sky vac vacuum has been deployed. I'll make the thing a that astounds you about gunpowder is that it was made trying to make a pill for immortality. Vection out. Yet it is used to project a pill of mortality into people to kill them. Mm. Era Laundrestat, I like that. Standing by. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Mm, well, that might be. You know, right now you remind me of Driftwood. Nice to look at, but you're just kind of floating yeah. around, not doing much. Just and what have you done right lately? Say a tiger shark and swim around, hunting for answers. She's mean. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one cruising around up here. There's a mallet duck circling above. Check it out! Of course, I'm not surprised. Do you crash if you stop pedaling? God, I don't know. That's about twice as high as I can get in this blimp wild! Okay. Nobody in this lab has any chill. No. Ex ex except for Bill, who I think has just kind of lost it a little bit. <laughs> except for Dr. I. Scrystal, who is the, the ice scientist, I guess. Was there an ice, ice crystal? No, I made that up. Okay. I love Mars. Bill. Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. 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 Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. <laughs> you science boy. Bill. Bill Noy, the science guy. <laughs> well, that's probably not a good sound. Hey, that stuff you had Connie vacuum out of the sky is in the micro lab. When you get the chance, put it under the microscope and see if you can figure out what she brought back. Oh. Uh, yeah, I wondered what the sky vac was for. The skack, as it were. <laughs> hey there. I just oh, brought Jesus. Back Jesus. I Jesus. Up in the sky I haven't had time to identify them yet, and I've got work to do. Use your peepers to take a look see. You might start I by hope looking this is. through the drawers to see if anything matches the samples I brought back. Bubba. <laughs> Bubba. Ooh, okay. Okay, so we've got pollen and tiny brains and some kind of mite thing. Yeah, I think Let's see. What do we got? Lovers. Actually, no, I think it was in the plant stuff, wasn't it? It was one of the goldenrod things. There we are. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, what does that do for us? Um. I guess let's just try uh, with the riddle, because, like... Uh, something that lives on Earth and blows up in the sky where it never eats and doesn't die. I don't know if that's... What's... Whoa! You're doing some thinking that's pretty big about a piece that's pretty small of this puzzle that's huge! Hold it. Uh, small? Huge? Uh, wait, n never mind about me. You better submit that answer to Max right away. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Seems to be correct. I am blown away. <gasps> yeah! Airhead. Two wait. riddles down. Five to go. You've shifted the odds. A surprise I admire, though you're not exactly out of the fire. Nice. Good good thinking, Lily, because I 
I would not have... Like, it never eats and doesn't die. Like, that doesn't... Plankton very tiny drawer, please. Plankton very tiny drawer. Okay. It was the very tiny drawer, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, I think we just need to lose both of these, don't we? There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's probably in the ocean stuff. Ocean Aerosol stuff. bacteria. Yeah, this is all Pseudomonas and... <gasps> they smell like grapes. Did you know that? Why do they smell like grapes? Because it's what God told them to smell like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see? If you grow a culture of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, they smell like grapes. Okay. That's your science fact for today, everybody. Well, that's... Uh, whoop, that's... Co pea pods. I think we can do a funny clue for the uh, for this one. Plank plankton are small. Is all but a dog paddling in the right direction. What? Uh, some people eat the co pea pods. I feel like we. If you eat gross water. Did we look at the human stuff? I don't think so. Do we have anything that's really pointing us towards human stuff? Mm, me, because I want to look at it. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's fair. <laughs> I want to see human stuff. Hair, gross, awful. A white blood cell. Oh, look at them. This is what you look at. So, so busy. Mm -hmm. Hello, fella. Bacteria in heat. <laughs> Ugh. It's a bad time for whoever that was. <gasps> oh, they're in metaphase. Look at that. What does that mean? That's part of mitosis. Oh. As the chromosomes start to get packaged up after dividing. Oh, wow. I got it. Who? It's a thick Ooh. chromosome. <laughs> Damn. That was going to oh, make mama. me act out. <laughs> 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 chroma some, more like chroma all, damn. It's <laughs> a very, very curvy chromosome. <laughs> oh. <sighs> a clud blot. A clud blot. Oh, look at all of the strands of fibrin. Oh. Wow. Mm. A babidus. Ew, a gross. Why has it got so many holes in it? It's, uh where the screams are hidden. Oh. Or it's the odontoclasts. Oh. Neat. Oh, I didn't know that. Neat, Gross. Me neither. Nightmare. Mm -hmm. Now my teeth itch. <laughs> Is that bad? Hmm. I feel like... I had to get the rest of my baby teeth pulled because they refused to fall out. My mouth was getting crowded. <laughs> Oh. It happened with insufficient numbing. Oh, which Christ. was exciting. Oh yeah, I, I can still remember that pain. Arr, matey. What do you want us to do? Keep on trucking. Well, oh. this river doesn't flow over any mountains, but it does cut into one. Yeah, the canyon walls here look like a sandwich. A sedimentary sandwich. Lots of layers lay down on top of each other at different fun? times. I see uh, basalt and some thick layers of ashes. Maybe I should check out something else. What the fuck? Okay, I'm on my way. I was certain that the lake bed was going to be it, but now I feel... <laughs> I'm going to be so mad at y'all if it's the limestone. Because <laughs> I was like... Uh, the lake bed seems maybe, but like it's a lake bed and the limestone's usually like oceanic deposits, so maybe that. And everyone was like, "No, lake bed, <laughs> lake bed, lake bed, lake bed, lake bed." Lake Is lead. he still not at the dang ass place yet? No, he's still going. His stupid slow boat. Ugh. Okay, what do we got? Alice, Alice says I had a piece of orthodontistry put in my mouth called a mara that was essentially a set of crowns with rods and hooks that made it so I couldn't shut my jaw unless I pushed my mouth forward. 
oh shit i had something very much like that i had a i had a herbst appliance which was this sort of oh god this was such a nightmare you guys i don't know how i lived through this thing but it was like a a little metal thing that was on the roof of my mouth that was pushing my palate apart because it was really narrow and it had a fucking turn key that my mom had to go in with a key and give it a crank every while to make it like push out more and i also it also had um pistons going from like the top of my jaw to the bottom to push my lower jaw forward so i couldn't i couldn't for years could not move my jaw left or right because i had pistons (laughs) pistons <laughs> oh i'm sorry lily yeah it's kind of a bummer yeah this sucks i hate this yeah <laughs> i apologize it was a bad time oh that looked like that was just gonna do a upsie We can't have, uh, we've got to offset our carbon for all these rocket launches, so let's just have a pedal-powered blimp. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna use the weather machine and... Oh, the, the Van de Graaff generator is right here. Yeah. Which might actually be... Can we put in the Van de Graaff generator? I don't think we can. Can we stick our hand in it? Like strikes with a blast. That's. I think this might actually be a thunderstorm rather than. Oh. Lightning does strike with a blast. Now we need to find a hot-headed giant that makes lightning. Do you suppose it could be a thunderstorm? Yes, I do. So. Maybe. Oh, so we need we need to make lightning in the the weatherator? Maybe. Can you do the dust injector yourself? I think the dust injector just goes. Just goes. So a hot headed giant. So it would be warm. Like that's not gonna do anything. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, we would have to wait for a storm to blow in, I think. It is supposed to storm today, they've been saying. Oh, did they? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have cooler, warmer, warmer. say it cools down fast. Okay. Let's see what the clueizer says. Yeah. Interesting connection you're making me just don't see how it fix the picture. Bill. <laughs> I hate this weather machine. should be a big old red herring swimming around inside of it. Sippy, sippy. Oh gosh. <laughs> Sipping is good. Wow. Oh. Ah. 
Cerverist. Lofty Verist. We've... Okay, let's check in on the... No, up. I wish to go up. There we go. Please. Please, video game. <laughs> That sure is a ladder, huh? <laughs> it's fucking great. I love this ladder. Okay, blimp, please. Let's see how you're getting on. Standing by. Scattered clouds expected this afternoon as a cold mass of Arctic air blows in closer to the city. Oh yeah, the storm corridor. I have better luck with that if you launched in a storm. Okay, well. I forgot we had that. That's probably what we need. Mm, well, that might be helping the grass. I don't think that answer. Okay. Is this good? All right. Let's see if you got. <laughs> okay. I don't know why we can launch the dirty socks. Okay, so we're waiting for Make room for all the clean ones. So let's see. We are currently waiting for things to happen, for that to happen. We're yeah, waiting for that too. Uh, yeah, we're life. I just... Oh no, not that one. But this one. That one, yeah. Um, and I guess that one too. Yeah, and this one. Like, I, I feel like there's a lot of them that we're going to have to do with the boat. Mm. Yeah, hot-headed giant that strikes with a flash, or whatever the rhyme was. That feels like a thunderstorm to me. Apparently time goes faster if we're in the ocean lab looking at the boat, so let's make that happen. Arr, matey, what do you want us to do? Oh yeah, look at it go. Oh good. It's still gonna take a while. You sent me out here to the limestone because things are rocking out here. Lots of fossils. Yeah, this whole place must have been underwater once. Oh no! I limestone told you. Nothing like lime. <laughs> Don't even try to taste it. Nah, no tangy lime flavor. <laughs> well, I've uh, shipped back some fossils. <laughs> I I, uh, I gotta get to a hospital. <laughs> they should be in the fossil bay by now. So check them out. Should eat lots of rocks. You dig? Uh oh. Chat, we did a whoopsie together, you and me. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was the limestone, but I was overruled. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, limestone, that's put down by, like, fucking sedimentary layers and shit. And, and then everyone's like, no, the, the lake bed. And look at what we've got a funny <laughs> petrodactyl. I'm so full from limestone, yum. What part of the turkey is that? <laughs> the gun. Oh. Hang on. This will give me some idea of how it's supposed to go together. Okay. Okay, I see. It's been squished. Aha. Uh Necky. -huh. Necky. <laughs> mm 
I don't like that all the dinosaurs in this place are yelling at us. I know. Kind of scary. Okay. Ah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Finally, the solution to that one riddle. Toe to tip. Rockin'. Good job. Yeah, that thing is way bigger than a '57 Cadillac. Flying reptiles like this dominate. Yeah, okay. Died no frame of reference for what '57 Cadillac is. This big ass. When they all died out. The one you found favorite is car of, of all dinosaurs? 90s kids oh. and dinosaurs. All right then, Max. Okay, Max. You're not happy with a fucking skeleton of a dinosaur. Oh, shit, I kind of didn't you think you'd find a whole fucking skeleton. Right <laughs> that was kind of my linchpin. Damn it. You may mm -hmm. escape extinction. Mm. Excellent work, almighty oh, hot dog of science. Three riddles down. What? To go. Ex Can Excuse me? The mustard? Do you relish the I rest am of hot the dog test? man, I guess. <laughs> what was that about relish he was just saying? <laughs> Alright, well, we're the almighty hot dog of science, Beefucka Wendelthorpe. <laughs> An all Beefucka hot dog. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Alright, goodbye, Paris Rolifus. <laughs> that might not be what that was. It was a Cranian Don. I just really like. The word Paris or all of it. I like so that you take fun. every opportunity to say it. It makes me very happy. <laughs> I want to play with the fuse box. <laughs> Arm right, matey, I be here awaiting your orders. What's on your mind, you landlubber? Oh. Arm right, matey, <laughs> I be here awaiting you. Yeah, great. Okay, we've arrived. I need to in the role is for the there she goes. Okay, so hopefully oh, I... the whale hasn't moved. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's there what I'm scared of. That would be so mean. What is that? It's both. Small clicking mammals nearby. Ah, oh, I love clicking mammals. I want the large clicking mammals. Salmon oh. are amazing navigators. Oh. They start off in freshwater streams and lakes, <laughs> then travel Hello? downstream to live most of their no. adult lives in saltwater oceans. Years later, they return uh -huh. home and swim up the Chat? same exact river to lay eggs right where they started. Even when there are dams uh -huh. and reservoirs in the way, salmon climb up man-made fish ladders to get home. Hey. We interrupt this CD run oh. to bring you oh, more <laughs> bad news. Meteoroid impending doom is still heading our way. At an average speed of 50,000 kilometers per hour. That's faster than a speeding bullet. Let's go now to reporter Corinne Kawabi for more. Well, Chet, since Superman is just a fictional character, it's oh, all up to run out, out to the front door and, <laughs> and photo on the camera. <laughs> the meteoroids, so we can only wait and see. Otherwise, it's curtains for Do it like we did on Consider it, where we just silently walk closer and closer to the camera. <laughs> Get a okay. hold of yourself. You've got to believe in my last oh, Unnatural Please. 20's You're correct. Right. I'm sorry. This has been more bad news. I'm Chet Brinkow. Okay, so he does get pretty unhinged. I'm gonna do these wheels real quick. Uh-oh. Hmm. I think whales are usually at higher depths than that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can explore around the area. Let's deal let's with the storms. Our, let's catch lightning in a bottle, I guess. Yeah, let's deal with the storm one. Come on, let, let me sit down on the fucking chair. <laughs> Stormy weather expected regionally, as the arctic cold front we've been watching passes over us, cooling the air and releasing lots and lots of moisture. Thunderstorms possible for the next few hours as the front moves through. Standing by! Whoa, cool! That is one giant thunderhead! Looks like there was a whole mess of warm air that drank up lots of water vapor over mm -hmm. the ocean. That hot, moist air floated up into the upper atmosphere where it cooled down quickly and formed a cloud. As water vapor condenses back into liquid droplets, lots of heat energy gets released. It has to go somewhere. That carries the cloud up higher, sucking more warm, moist air up from beneath really fast, like 100 kilometers an hour. Now these powerful updrafts push the top of the cloud way, way up, like 6,000 meters where it's really cold. Uh -huh. Now it's a huge monster filled with liquid yeah. droplets and ice particles. They get heavy Neat. and start to fall, pulling cold air down through the middle I'm of the cloud. I'm an ice monster. Right next to the warm air <laughs> you that's are. still coming You're up. My ice and then monster. watch out! <sighs> Lightning City! See, what's happening is these powerful opposing winds, the hot air moving up and the chilly air pouring down, rub air molecules and ice particles together, just like when you rub your feet along a carpet and give your friend a shock on the nose. The rubbing winds build up huge amounts of static electrical charge. A giant huh? thunderstorm like this, it's, it's a highly charged situation. Hot and oh. cool. You've shown us the heart of the storm. I gotta go. Keep up the good work. Neat. Can, okay. Can I? The clue? That was scary. What? Why were you talking to us through the thing if you were just gonna be right there again, William? I know. A striking conclusion. I'm thunderstruck. Uh. This must be more than a stroke of luck. Another thunderstruck. Perhaps you humans <laughs> will suit me to a team. Four answers found. Three yet remain. Whatever you lose, Dumay will gain. Oh, Jesus, what, what's happening with whoa. the time? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Good evening, and welcome I to don't know. Bad News Tonight. I'm Chet Brinko. With just three days to go before meteoroid impending Dumay crashes into the planet. We just kind of passed out up here for a few hours. <laughs> We can all breathe a little easier. As you can see, Nylabs has solved four riddles with just three to go. And now, a look at tomorrow's weather. With two pressure systems converging, it could be sunny, could be stormy, even snowy. Who knows? <laughs> but with just three days left, you might as well get out and enjoy yourselves one last time. That's it for Bad News Tonight. <laughs> Jesus. I'm Chet Brinkow. Maybe it skips if you solve three riddles in a day. Yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. Just to try and keep that tension up. Oh yeah, we just we still have a puzzle that's just like this seems like plants. Oh, uh, we solved the plants one. Oh, did we? Yeah, it was seven. How did we solve that one? What did we solve that with? You clicked on a plant. Is that it? Oh. Yep. I thought it criticized me for clicking on the plant. So, okay. So we've got the underwater volcano thing. Yeah, where life grows in great measure. We've got the funny whales. Yeah. And we've got the funny volcano. Which... I'm a sleeping dog with a churning stomach. Which... <sighs> hey, Bill. Shaking. Not again, Bill. We can't keep doing this. There is the dog in the dino lab, but I tried yeah, clicking. Why do we also. bake when he barks? That seems like we're kind of avoiding responsibility. <laughs>
A sleeping dog, like... Mount St. Helens was... Dormant for the longest goddamn time. It's true. I'm pretty sure we tried that one. Thing is, though, these volcanoes are showing up where they're going to be obscured by a pit boy, so there's no way they can be the answer. I think they're just like, like in the general area. Hmm. There's a good chance that will indeed be of some help, yes, but. There's more to this riddle than what you've discovered. What more is there, my guy? <laughs> Do we have any info on Mount Pavlov's activity? <laughs> hmm. But what about the dog? This isn't to do with the weird thing where, like... Shakes is awake when it barks, you bake. Is there a volcano named after a dog? That's what I'd ask. Do we have dog volcano? I don't think there... There was. I don't think so. Like... Oh, my favorite dog, the highway bridge. None of these. There was like a historic thing on the fault finder, I think. So maybe there's something there. Mmm, banana smoothie. <laughs> oh shit. Prince. Oh, I love that Prince William sound. <laughs> Sakosity. Okay, can we click on these and get yeah. info? Earthquake geyser. Santa Cruz Mountains, Candlestick Park. You'll recognize the dog mountain when you see it. Oh, let's look at more of this. It's kind of a dog shape. Oh, the Matterhorn's not a volcano, though, I don't think. No, it's... Okay, let's just push the Matterhorn button and see what happens. Oh, we should have gone after the humpback. Oh no. Like, that's nothing. That's nothing. Go, uh, let's look at the other great quake things. A sec, I'm just gonna. Submitting the image on the machine? I, I guess not. Oh, it's not any of these, apparently. Right. So there is a. a dog mountain somewhere else. at the other great quakes yeah i'm just oh, like, okay i'm being pulled in a million different directions right, oh. at once. Here, sorry <laughs> what's on your mind you landlubber oh. okay humpback whales where were they at <laughs> OK, 
a E3. Okay, we gotta go to E3, everybody. <laughs> Oh, shut up. <laughs> That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, lad. We have two Where's days. <laughs> we better hope that's right, then. Yeah. Better hope those whales don't move. Okay, dog mountain. Dog volcano. Volcano dog. Dog volcano. Dogs are barking. Yeah, let's let's get some hints going on. Let's get some game FAQs going, because I'm very curious about this dog volcano. Like, do we feed our funny dog the mac and cheese? <laughs> some baking <laughs> soda. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I was a morph master. A morph master? What? That was the name of that computer, the morph master. Oh shit! Which one? This one? Oh. Yeah. Hey. The morph master. The morph master. The boof yeller. The yeller of boofuses. Save first, then go back to the ocean place. I don't know that we have go saved. Back to the ocean palace. Uh, we have a file. Can we? Is there file options? Oh, yeah. Uh, we should have been doing this. Oh, the earthquake was. Uh... I think it was in the very bottom right, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. So we're kind of stuck waiting on everything in the ocean, I think, right? Uh huh. Because, like. I mean, I think also, actually, the other thing is, it's getting really late. <laughs> it is pretty late. And I would quite like to go to bed. <laughs> so I think. Um, maybe we'll come back to this. Who knows? Um, but. I've certainly learned some things about um, I, the ocean. I hope you learned science. Tell me a science fact you learned today, Jax. Um, Bill Nye has a seduction zone in his lab. <coughs> well, we don't have the password for it. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Can we? Is, I guess there's not a place where we can really fast forward time except staring at the ocean thing. That's yeah, good. pretty much. That's just going to be us standing there <laughs> and staring at it with not much going on. I, I wanted the rock to hit us. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. He wants me to go to bed very badly. Baby boy. It's a baby boy. Well, folks, we had fun with that. And, uh,. I think uh, it's safe to say this is not going to be the last Girl Stream Team Edutainment Week. Yeah, um, we are going to be. We've got to learn a bunch of stuff. We've got to learn a bunch of stuff, and I want to next time around. I want to share some of the games that I did when I was growing up, um, uh, like on the BBC Micro and stuff, because wow. those were some wild ass little things, and like. I don't know if that's necessarily going to be an edutainment thing or if it's just going to be a tainment thing because, Ooh. like, I wish um, we had a word for that. <laughs> I know, because, <laughs> uh, like, um, yeah, we did pretty good for the time constraints of the stream. We got four out of uh, seven, and that is absolutely like <laughs> as much as I was yelling at Bill. I had a lot of fun with that. Oh, that was really I'm good. Glad. <laughs> Chat, I hope you all learned something about science today. We're going 
going to go over and raid Scribbly Noodle, uh, my buddy Z, uh, who is currently doing an art stream. Uh, if y'all want to join us in that raid, that'd be rad. Um, if you need to go to bed, that's understandable. It's quite late. Uh, me, me, me. I need to go to bed. <laughs> me too. So y'all take care, and we will see you again on Monday. We don't know what we're doing yet, but uh, it's going to be rad, and it's going to be at 9.30 p.m. Y'all take care. Mwah. Good night, everybody. Mwah. Mwah.